Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some space exploration. Uh, right after I fix my volume, one sec. <clears throat> okay, that's a bit better. Um, where are we up to? Oh yeah, things were slowing down a bit as we're trying to build some stuff on Hagen. And I was thinking of going back to um, Nalvis for a bit. Not least so that it doesn't get overrun by biters, but also so that we can come back here and have an easier time of expanding. Although we are kind of approaching a critical mass um, as it is. How much steel do we have? It's not fully automated. Wait, yes it is. Um, let's see. Iron goes here, but we're dropping off coal annually. No, we're not. Um, we should end up with quite a lot of steel if we leave this for a while. Oh yeah, I wanted to make sure I place these efficiency modules first. Um, we've already got most of the fuel refineries efficiencyed up. That's the majority of the power cost of this power plant. And after that, uh, the atmospheric condensers, and lastly, the greenhouses. Although, if we efficiency module the greenhouses, we actually get more pollution, weirdly enough. Um, but we're not too worried about pollution on this planet, I suppose. Alright, let's get efficiencies put in here. That's going to save us, what, a few hundred kilowatts, actually? Hey, evil plow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spider time. Uh, indeed. I hope it will be spider time in the game relatively soon, but we've still got a long way to go. Um, I've actually got 50 of these 60 left over. Uh, so let's use... Because this can fit three modules, it's going to be a lot easier if we use module inserter. And that's most of them already. Uh, 42 efficiency modules. Get the rest of these in over here. Fantastic. And what do we got? 18. We can do another 9. Alright, but that's mostly done as far as the effect of it is concerned. We're going to have much smoother uh, power production from this point on. Hey Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So theoretically we have about 200 megawatts spare to play with um, with this power setup. That's not too bad. Um, I was spamming some wind turbines just to kind of supplement that a little bit. Especially to make sure it doesn't completely fall over. Yay indeed. Um, what do you guys think? Should we continue building here a little bit slowly? Or should we go back to Nalvis and start getting a bunch of stuff together that's going to be sent to Hagen by delivery cannon? I'm inclined towards the latter, not half because I made a delivery cannon build, what, the day before yesterday upstream? Uh, it's pretty straightforward, obviously. I, and I've decided to put delivery cannon capsules in the rail network this time. Because we ended up having to... It's just fewer things to ship when we have a block that needs delivery cannon uh, capsules. 
Okay. Um, how much rail do we have? Zero? Try this much. Well, I was just doing some math, and for my goal, I need at least 12 deep space Naquium belts. Yikes. That's... That's at least seven. Um... Yeah, I think we... Partly because I'm sort of a bit disoriented, because I haven't played this save for nearly a week. Um, but I'm thinking go back to Nalvis and come back with a cargo rocket uh, full of more stuff. Um, and this time we can use a cargo rocket landing pad. There should be one in the logistic network here. Oh, that reminds me. Cargo landing pad. I added a mod. Uh, search factory. Pad. Cargo landing pad. No results found. Ingredient product storage logistics. Maybe I should have done that first. Oh wow, every time I... Every time I check or uncheck one of those, it has a, it has a long think. Service? Service? Uh, the salt man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess it won't be done before Christmas. <laughs> Indeed. Um, has anyone used this mod? Am I, am I just doing it wrong? Cargo landing pad. Okay, maybe not all surfaces. I think I just want to ser search the surface that I'm on, usually. So that'll probably speed it up a lot. No results found. Storage? Search for logistic entities that are transporting this item. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Yeah, storage. That's, uh... There it is. Nice. I didn't... Oh, and it gives you an arrow. That's beautiful. Okay, I think I'm in love with a mod. Not everywhere, my German brother. In Germany, we say service. What is service? Guten Tag, by the way. I don't know a whole lot of German. Uh, my education for that stopped at Das Bucheregal. Um, it's not going to matter if crashed stuff lands on the water, right? Should be fine. Service equals hello. I see. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we'll go back. And... I saw my clat doing it. It's surprisingly cheap if we use a space capsule um, to just emergency burn straight back to Nalvis and we keep our inventory, actually. But it's not that cheap that I wouldn't still prefer to just use um, our spaceship. If I can remember where the cargo... Well, let's find out. Uh... Capsule is not in storage. Oh, it's here, isn't it? Oh, but I, I think I, I think I know. Guys, I think I know where the cargo, uh, where the space capsule is. I think I remember. My base was deleted yesterday. I only had a bot base, but the bots die too fast. Deleted. So, I would have to empty all of this, or almost all of it. Yeah, I can I can really see myself getting in the habit of using the emergency burn, just because it's that much of a hassle, like, especially as we scale up, um, so that I just don't have to deal with... Could you not this time? Thank you. Uh, just so I don't have to deal with emptying my inventory and stuff to use the cargo pod. Intermediate pr 
products of various kinds. Um, belts. Inserters. Our assembly machines and stuff like that. Miners. Uh, I guess this doesn't really have its own thing. Uh, it doesn't really fit in another category. That's what I meant to say. Don't know how I ended up with those three Logibots. And... Chests. Combis. Stone and concrete. Or... Or intermediates. And the rest. Don't particularly want to go anywhere without the rest of this. Um, however, I do need to empty my inventory a bit more. How's this? First stage eight of nine. What am I holding that's extra? Let's leave the cliff explosives. There we go. Alright, back to Hagen Orbit, where our spaceship awaits. Haven't used LTN yet, not sure I ever will, to each their own. Fell in love with Factorio Train from the first minute I used them, <laughs> fair enough. Where's our spaceship? Um, hello? Canary Prospector, Hagen Orbit. Uh, oh no, did I have to select the ship specifically? Or I just, I just need to get the ship to anchor, that's probably it. Anchor to Hagen Orbit, yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, so give me all of this. And that's weird. I didn't realize the uh, thruster suit had a little bit of life support built in. Okay then, back to Navis Orbit. And it should be just a few minutes. Um, I don't know what speed we're going to equalize at. Starting at, like, 40% solar. Well, it's not 40%, it's actually lots. It's only going to get faster as we go... Excuse me. It's only going to get faster as we go back because we've got more power. But it looks like we'll be there in 10 minutes or less. Meanwhile, on Nalvis, how's how are the biters doing? The biters just finished attacking our wall and didn't even damage this one. Uh, they have been consistently scratching this one up here, but it's not looking too bad for all that for all the time we spent on Hagen. That said, I really should clear this area up here if we want to leave for longer next time. But the other fronts, um, I think have been doing pretty much fine. These walls have been, like, sniped by biters that aren't actually rushing over here. So that's not that big of a deal. And this part isn't even scratched. Fantastic. Does that one reach up there? It does. So it seems like none of the biters have come through here, judging by these three lasers not having any kills. Jimbo Panda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just dump everything in a big warehouse? Yeah, fair enough. Maybe I should do that. I don't know, I find it easier sometimes. If the if if we have categories, 
But I guess I could do that with the warehouse, just with the order that I put things in. Could... Kutiad Fumvrdkw? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's our speed? 16. Oh, no. 20 minutes to get back. But we should be going fa- Oh, that first burst must have been the accumulators running out. Okay. We will be getting faster as we get closer to Nalvis orbit, though. Or rather, closer to the sun, Calidus. And the way that space travel works in this game, the last section is going to be all the same amount of solar power. I should probably... I should probably redesign this ship already. The, uh, the FTL reference is cute and everything, but... If we're just using this to get around, and I'm not really interested in having a lot of storage space, um, then I should probably make the whole, make the, the size of the ship smaller, get rid of some of the chests to match it. RF Holloway, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can I... can I design ships here? I should be able to. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, let's blueprint this real quick. Um, so we know exactly... Auto save. So we know exactly how many tiles we've got of uh, spaceship floor and walls. I believe we have another uh, ion engine but we're going to be bottlenecked on power, and this thing has a minimum consumption of 333 kilowatts, so we're just going to use the one ion engine. What, what? Maholic, good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What do you mean by what, what, though? Oh. Uh... Okay. Um, I guess... I wonder exactly what I have to avoid. Can we not design spaceships in the editor area? Like, if I put spaceship floor down, or is it an engine? I wonder what caused that. Good thing it just auto-saved. Like, literally a second ago. Maybe you have to do it in space? Yeah. There's certain buildings that you can't put down, but I... I mean, I doubt it would work that way. Um, let's try putting down spaceship floor. Spaceship floor. Here it is. Okay, so that... that works. I can put down spaceship floor. I wonder if it was somehow the blueprint. Will it crash again? Yes, it will. Nope. Nope, indeed. Uh, alright. Auto... Load the autosave again. I'm gonna try and just put down the elements one by one. Build a spaceship here from scratch. Uh, spaceship. Okay. We can put down floor. We can put down con console. That's probably it. Well, I don't think I want to try to design a spaceship without being able to check integrity and hull size and stuff. Probably trying to get a launch energy needed and failing? Maybe. Well, 
we can always um, jump to a different save to do the full-on editor extensions uh, if we want to design spaceships. Which is probably better because if you want to test them as well, and we can't do that in the lab, but... Um, it was It's really just a really, really basic design that I'm going to go for for this. Also, I'll need to move these around without losing any of the ion stream. But yeah, it's really just going to save us like a, a few minutes. Um, while we are... I should have brought some stuff back with me. Actually, no, that would have increased the cost of launching the cargo... Uh, the space capsule. But I should definitely get some stone rearranged over here. Am I carrying any... Any big storage boxes? That might help reorganize a little bit. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, we've got some stone here. That's good. I wonder if we can get all of the rest of our current science level complete without much more fuss. Alright, um, I don't really have a whole lot I can do while in transit at this stage. But I guess I could think about where I want my rail blocks. Um, so we've got two rail blocks that I designed. Uh, where is it? There's delivery cannon capsules, which need uh, heat shield, LDS explosives, and copper, if I re recall correctly. Heat, uh, sorry. Capsule. Delivery, cannon capsule, recipes, recipe, recipe, recipe. Where be the recipe though? Products in? That's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, copper heat shield LDS explosives. Um, copper is here. We don't have heat shield LDS yet. We don't have explosives yet, but it should probably be close to the oil. Um... My other block that I've built already is Heat Shield LDS. And because they're always with each other, I decided decided to put them in the same block. Although, really you should have three belts going into LDS, but I sort of tried to force it to be symmetrical a bit much. If we upgrade it, it might be a little bit of an issue with the belt throughput. Uh, it's probably fine. Um, heat shield LDS. We need plastic, copper, stone. Excuse me. I'll probably put them here. Considering all the things we're gonna need. Or even here. It doesn't make that much of a difference. Except I'm going to have to remove the Zerg creep. Can I just mark it for deconstruction? Let's get a decon planner specifically for... What is this called? Um, bio something? Biomatter. Eh? Did, did I miss it, or can we not... Can we not deconstruction plan this? Oh, is it under floor tiles? Uh, tiles. Here we go. Bite a creep. Perfect. Whoops. No? Is it blacklisted? It's whitelisted. Um... Can I blacklist the trees and, ex and cliffs as well? Oh, that was trees slash rocks, wasn't it?
whitelist by the creep. And if we look for entities, uh, it's not in there. So I guess we can't. Oh. Oh, it is making it. It's, it, it is working, except that it's like prioritizing the cliffs and the trees. Okay. Can I... Can I just blacklist all entities? We already did. What? What? Oh, no, no, no. Whitelist. Whitelist every entity. And white... Whitelist... Don't include anything on the entities and whitelist by the creep. That should that should do it, right? No? We're still trying to deconstruct rail and and stuff. I guess a blank decon planner. It looks the same. Okay. Um maybe so if there's an empty whitelist, it just assumes you want to get rid of everything. Can we just add something obscure to this? Uh, did that say ruin that looked like a wooden box? It did. Ruin. Wooden box. Okay. So this, I think this is what we want. Yes, finally. We got there in the end. Okay, so I'm going to mark all that for deconstruction, and I hope this will now let us put our blueprint over the top. Heat shield LDS. It does not. Weirdly enough, we can place everything but the belts and some rail. Um, that's odd. That was straightforward. Hey, Taken. Putrid one. Uh, Modinho. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Arignir. Welcome, welcome. Also, try to sign on planet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Alt C would work. Uh, yeah, I actually forgot about that. Does it mark it for deconstruction? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a little bit... I don't want to say cheaty, because we don't get the resources. But what if I don't care about the resources? We can actually just... Oh, it drops it on the ground. Okay. Sure, why not? Let's use the navsat to pick up the bite of cream. <laughs> nice. Um, I guess we probably won't be using that decon planner. Uh, it's technically it's just as many bot jobs to pick this up, but I think they're gonna have a slightly easier time if we're standing close to this. Okay. Uh, heat shield LDS. I wish... I wish when you've right-clicked... Or is it tab? Yeah, 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 tab. No? Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I go into this blueprint and press tab, I go back to... I go back one level to the K2SE blueprint book. But if I go as deep as possible here, press tab... We go all the way back to the start, and I don't know why. What if I go into this blueprint? We just go back here. I guess I should just learn to click up the top here if I want to go back one level, but there really should be a shortcut key for that. Okay, so that's our heat shield LDS. Uh, they are siblings, so they go together. I'm sure we'll need one more than the other a little bit, but they're basically always together. And then... 
uh, delivery cannon capsule is gonna go here. Hello, Daniel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Delivery cannon capsule. Oh, we're here already. Anchor to Nalvis Orbit. And uh, let's grab this stone. Not to mention everything else. Maybe not the barrel. Uh, I don't know where to. I don't know where to take exactly six five hundred barrel. To be honest. Oh, it would really help if I had some larger. Can I handcraft some? I need steel and concrete, steel and concrete, steel for a 2x2. Two two. But a 2x2 two two is only two chests. Um, do we have concrete? Yes. Do we have quite a lot of steel? I don't know. Uh, I would say yes. Concrete... And a 4x4 four four should be good. Um, let's clean this up a bit. Do I have room in my... I almost do. No, I do have room in my inventory for all of this. That's good. So once we've got our... 4x4... Can I make another one? Uh, 100 steel. It's a little pricey. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, okay. Whoop. Tried to double jetpack too quickly. I still miss the ability to spam jetpack. Okay. So this requires blue circuits, um, stone, solid rocket fuel. Why am I suddenly dying? Did I just run out of life support? Um, that's inconvenient. Did I actually just happen to run out of life support at that moment? It probably would have helped if I'd equipped my life support. Um, we would have got a bit more efficiency. But I don't see... Oh no, did I leave it on, ha uh, uh, on Hagen? Let's update this uh, shortcut right here. Uh, right click, edit pin... There we go. And let me guess. Um, I actually have no idea where my life support is. Life support canister. No results found. All surfaces. We've got them in storage on Nalvis and... In the spaceship. Okay. Good to know. I can't actually fly into here. Let me in. Um, give to me the stack of life support. And... Uh, I guess let me equip all of that so it lasts longer. Now, what were we doing? Oh yeah, rearranging all of this. Uh, so solid rocket fuel only goes directly in here. Let's move all of it. Make it nice and easy to find next time. And I might do the same for... The science cards. Um, 
But first I need to make room. Definitely going to make it a lot cleaner, much easier to manage. Okay, and we can see how much we've got of each data card with one mouse over. That's nice. Uh, we definitely overdid it with the number of labs, but that's fine, I guess. Now we need these three, which we've already got here. We need... let's do one more... Uh, big container. Where is it? I need concrete now. Do I have concrete here? I do not. Don't tell me we're out of concrete already. Not even close. Fantastic. Um, so I would like... Oh, I can actually fit that easily. to put this here. And I'll keep the capsule up here as I always do because that way I just know where to look. How much scaffolding did we end up with? 2.9k. It's a start. I might have to actually do the thing where we're really conservative with our scaffolding at first. Um, okay. Are we done crafting this? Just about. What do we need here? Steel, LDS, small electric. Small electric. That's what we're about to run out of, I'm sure. Solid rocket fuel doesn't go in here, actually. Uh, doesn't, don't we need heat shield for something? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Um, I guess we'll put all the heat shielding in here. Anything that doesn't go directly in the science, I'd like to put it all here if I can fit it. I mean, we've got two cargo landing pads, it's probably fine. Small electric, small electric, steel, LDS, LDS, steel, steel, LTS, small electric. Oh, that's 2.4k small electric. Yes, please. Steel, LDS, capsules, getting everything nice and organized. And we'll soon know exactly how much science we're going to get before we have to bother to do anything properly. Alright, I see nothing that has to go down here. Fantastic. This is literally just processing unit, stone, solid rocket fuel. And this is steel, LDS, small electric. Stone goes here. And then... It's fine. Okay, I'm pretty sure none of this is science ingredients. 
Uh, that is though. And what do we need? Oh, this is already set up. Don't have to worry about that. Okay. Let's clean up this mess while we're at it. How about we get started by putting all the copper plate in here first? Whoops. Can I actually search for copper plate like this and then will it show me all of it? Can I keep open? How do I refresh? How do I how did I get the arrow thing earlier? Copper plate. Find it. Go. I'm a little confused. Oh, I have to click these specifically. Can I select multiple? No? Alright, so it's just this chest, this chest, this chest. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Um, I'm very impressed with the mod. I'd be even more impressed if it showed multiple at the same time. Let's grab the rest of this stone. Actually, I should look and see if we've already got enough stuff lined up to finish all of the science before we make another type of science. So let's see. Um, we're, let's call it 50% of the way through this. We're going to ignore prod modules to start with. Uh, so this is 200, uh, 800, and then we need 1050, 1150, 1250, 13, 1650, well, I'm probably not going to bother with this, uh, 1650, 2150, don't really need research speed, uh, 3150, 3650, and then if we're really keen, uh, quite a lot more than that. Okay. What are we going to run out of first? We got over 9,000 signs from data cards. Um, one stone equals one science pack, so that's actually only 740. I need not have counted so much. I'm pretty sure that's all of the stone up here. Yep. Um, I think I already looked, but we can't get stone from up here. Or at least not without looking a lot further in Nalvis orbit. Um, so if we're going to get about... Let's include the productivity bonus. Plus 18%. Uh, about 866 signs. We're going to get these two finished, and that's pretty much it until we make another trip. Okay. That'll have to do, I suppose. Um, I'll leave the rest of this stuff here. I did want to reorganize this stuff, at least. Heat shield, more heat shield, 
Even more heat shield. Big electric. Uh, I'll just take what I can see. Wait, what am I doing? Alright, so that's the whole thing. Uh, close enough. It'll still be pretty much organized. And we've got an empty cargo landing pad. What's this blueprint? Yeah. Um, if we've got exactly... Should I redesign the ship now? I kind of feel like redesigning the ship now. We've got 412 spaceship floor tiles. That should be way more than enough. I mean, the idea here is to make the ship smaller, so I think we'll be fine. Uh, preferably... Oh, this is going to be awkward, actually. I should just tear up pieces of it and leave these in place. Back, had to hop up for a snack. Welcome back, Ben Wu, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If we remove these pipes uh, one by one at the far edge... I don't even want to waste 10 ion stream here. So maybe we'll build the ship around the existing uh, ion engine. I'm going to use picker dollies to move the booster tanks. Not sure why I thought we were doing Terraria tonight. Uh, not tonight, not for a couple of nights. You play only one train, two wagon system? Uh, two locomotives so that it can go both ways, but yes, two cargo wagons. Um, I'm trying something different this run in a couple of ways. Alright, uh, can I... Give me this. It's still easy to use the bots. And let's put the spaceship console up here somewhere. In line uh, with the engine. You're joking. Oh no. I can't... I can't move the... Oh no. Um... Okay, I have a couple of things I can try here. Do I have any storage tanks up here? I do. Let me out. Able to barrel it, I guess, but it might not come to that. This thing can fit a bit more than a couple of tanks. Let me in. No, no, let me in. No. Okay. Uh, I might have to pump it. Do I have a pump up here? Surely. There's a couple up this way. I should probably pick up some solid rocket fuel. Since we're going to run out of stone first anyway. Okay. Uh, pump it all in here. And... Did I really pick up just one storage tank? Never mind. So that's 50k... And 
once that's empty, we'll be able to pick these up. Or I could pick them up sooner, now that there's room for this to be displaced, but I don't want to trust in that. I was able to move those? Maybe they changed it. Or maybe it's got something to do with this being... Does this normally move? It does not. I don't think it's because it's like the spaceship that was here when we started the game. Kind of weird. Oh, I might move that up a bit already. Wouldn't be, I did exactly that, redesigned the free ship. Indeed. Bilbo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Auto save again. It's a little annoying, but considering it auto saved right before the game crashed when I tried to build a spaceship in the lab area, um, I'll take it. Zero point one ion stream. Well, if we lose that, I'm not going to be too bent out of shape. I like how it shows at the connectors here that it's only ion stream um, that goes through these pipe connections, but it kind of made me think there was ion stream in here already. On the other hand. Okay, so that's going to be... Should we make a thin ship? Or should it be a little bit wider? In which case it would be nicer to have the, the tanks down here. Probably should have checked that first. Um, I do want to know exactly how small we could make this ship. If it's even, if it even gets small enough that we shouldn't even give it a single storage container if we want to maximize fuel efficiency until we can produce ion stream. Uh, we have some doors, surely. There we go. I don't think we have the mini power poles, so we'll need a little bit more space than this, not to mention we'll need some lasers as well. Um, so, pylon substation, laser turret, and we could just stop there, honestly. If we just set it to go slow enough, it's going to go slow anyway because we're running ion off of solar power. I'm designing this for maximum fuel efficiency, not for anything else. Uh, maybe we could streamline it a little bit, though. That's probably all it takes to get maximum streamline. Whoops. And are we just about done pumping? Surprisingly, no. Why is there 78 ion stream in the pump? Uh, why isn't it pumping? Well, I hope that ion stream didn't just get deleted. Uh, but yeah, let's see what kind of hull stress we get here. 84. How much is a chest? Also, did we get the streamline? Not quite. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to be able to fit two chests with the smallest ship we can make regardless. 
Um, how about like that? Maximum streamline. Uh, I was gonna say, could we fit a third container, but literally we can't. Unless... I don't think medium poles are gonna save us any space. Because I would have to make room for it here somehow. Four. Auto save gets us free pass for saving us, indeed. Didn't think it could go in a normal tank? Yeah, it can. It can go in any tank that isn't specifically something else. Tiny ship, what's it for? Uh, we can't actually produce this ion stream, so I want to get the maximum number of trips out of it, as opposed to anything else at this stage. Um, yeah, I think this is about as good as it gets, right? Uh, if we did add another container... Oh. Uh, I kind of want to squeeze in another container now. Somehow. But we would have to make the ship a little bigger. I, I think it's probably worth it for another 50% storage. For it to be ever so slightly less fuel efficient. Hull stress 90, the containers are still below that. Yeah, I think we can probably live with this. 89.7. Cruise the beach. If you adjusted the nose a little longer, you could get four chests, indeed. Um, I don't want to... I don't want the container stress to be the thing that determines uh, how quote-unquote big the ship is, though. Do you need the rounded nose? Um, streamline makes it go slower. Like, w streamline is how we avoid a movement penalty, is one way to look at it. Um, so it's going to be more fuel efficient if it's streamlined. I I'm pretty sure... It it's not just max speed, but um, how much speed you get for the same amount of thrust, probably. I got the ship very late when I actually had to make beryllium, so I didn't care for fuel. Yeah, no, that's just... We've got different design constraints this time. But yeah, I think this will do. Uh, it's called the Lance? I was going to call it the Tube, but the Lance actually kind of works. My Clad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is just having two walls sticking forward enough for streamline? Yeah, it's not that strict. Um, if you look at the help, uh, it tells you you don't need to build a wedge. Up to one third of your spaceship's front can be flat with no penalty. Circular shapes are also fine. Do you need all four tanks? Um, yeah, we've got more than three quarters of our fuel remaining. So yes. Unless I wanted to pump it back and forth, which I don't. You've got four right now, just wondering. How far in science are you? Uh, we've only got the most basic space science. Uh, we're building up Hagen at the moment so that we can get the next one. But first we're going back to Nalvis real quick and I had to resist the urge to go down to Nalvis with an ion ship. That would have been a disaster. Oh, we don't have any accumulators but we don't need them. Um, we're just gonna set... Oh, let's do a combinator just to make sure. Um, we're just going to set the speed of the ship nice and low.
like 10 even. I don't know. I'll have to experiment to see what feels safe. Um, I will put all of the spaceship stuff in the spaceship just in case something breaks. Oh, I forgot about all of this. We can probably store it. Yeah, 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 we're fine. Oh, they're taking it away. That's not what I planned for. Um, I don't have a requester chest up here, do I? I don't think. Alright. Spaceship wall, floor. Um, doopy doop. Can I search for... No. Only one thing at a time. Where did they put the spaceship for? Here it is. Is it just the one... There's two storage chests at least. And... Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. It's a few space platform scaffolds. Okay, uh, so we have floor, wall, door, laser turret, uh, technically probably a regular substation pylon, uh, not substation, just a regular, uh, not pylon rather, just a regular substation should be enough for this. Nope, not quite. Hmm. I could move the console forward. How many pylons do we have here? Pylon substation. Uh, very few. I'll put those in just in case we crash into something. Speaking of... Uh, technically, you can just set the speed here, but I kind of feel more confident with a combinator, if that makes sense. Speaking of combinators, where on earth are they? I am loving this mod so much already. Why is it pointing over the... Oh, there's two. Oh. Wait. I was wondering before, how do I get it to display... Two steel chests. Okay, so it's the same type of container that it's pointing to. Fair enough. I should definitely have set up an auto crafter up here as well. But I don't have a request a chest. Alright, so we're gonna go speed signal one. And we'll beef that up as we go. Um but yeah. Put all of this away. Um I pretty, pretty much need to empty my inventory again, because we're using the space capsule to go downstairs. Do we have launchy bots here? We have 50, so that's a yes. May as well leave the construction bots here as well. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I guess the ion engine and clamps can go in here. And the solar panels. And accumulators, because why not? Alright, back to Nalvis? Question mark? We only need seven solid rocket fuel. This is fine. Vorvasant, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does KR2 change space stuff a lot? Uh, KR, as in K2. Uh, I don't know, it's a bit soon to say. Was gonna warn you last update that don't t don't land the ship on a planet. Yeah. So the arrow was aimed halfway between them. Yes, yes, it was. I don't have that much uh, solid rocket fuel. I probably should have thought of that. But we should be able to get back to base. I guess I'd better make sure I don't run out of fuel over the water. I'd hate to have to press the suicide button because of a silly thing like that. We're actually about to run out of fuel. If I run out of it about here, the odds are fairly high that I would have got stuck on the water. And there it is. Walk of shame. Oh my god, yes, the 11... 1. 1.69 update fixed the loud bang when I jumped to my Vulcanite planet. Nice. Uh, I saw on Damsel's stream there was an update to this uh, life support display, but I guess I have to update Factorio. Um, I did update the both the game and the mods pretty recently. The further I get into a run, the less inclined I am to update um, for fear of breaking something. Especially breaking something that I don't notice is broken for a good long while. Alright, can I get some some fuel please? Well, here's a little bit of fuel. So I prefer to carry the solid rocket fuel just because it's easier on the bots. Now then, what do I need to carry over here that I normally don't? Uh, not a whole lot. It's probably just going to be a question of volume. I really should have made some delivery cannon chests and set up a signal receiver while I was there. Factorio updated the belt logo also. Don't know if I like it. Uh-oh. Milk and pesto. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's horrendous? Oh no. Alright, um, I guess I should help. What can I pick up and from where that the bots are trying to deliver to me? Way too many things. I'm just going to go grab some rail. And we'll start with that. Probably don't need that much, then again, and we'll pick up some solid rocket fuel directly. Where is it? 
I will need construction bots. I've got some already. Let's swap out the life support for more bots and more jetpack. just slightly more gritty like I remember from the older art. The SpaceX belt logo is still the same. Wait, what? It shows the side of the belt which you never see when it's placed. SE and K2 need to update now to match. Alright, so what I want to set up while I'm here is a supply chain of uh, pretty much all the... Can I pick this up? There we go. I have to hold the F. Help the bots. And they're going all the way over there instead. No, that's not the way. Alright. Bots are way more efficient the shorter they need to go. Uh, basically what I want to set up while I'm here on Hagen... Uh, Hagen? Nalvis. Um, is enough of a supply chain to make it very easy to build an empire on Hagen. And we'll beef up our defenses a little bit before we go again. Throw a quick screenshot of the belt icons in your Discord. Okie dokie. Let's have a quick peek while the bots do this. Oh. Yeah, I, I, kind of, I see why... I see why people don't like that. It's a bit... I don't know... Chunky? It's definitely not just that it's changing something that you're super used to. Gordon Freeman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Big Chungus? Uh-huh. I need to remember to get signals. Signals, belts, and assembly machines. Oh, and we're out of cliff explosives. The fact that when you activate the jetpack, it technically kills you, resetting certain behaviors, uh, can really come in handy. Like with preventing the bots from just hovering there until the end of time. Ragamuffin, good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just noticed how bad the arrows look on the belt icon. Oh no. Uh, milk and pesto, also, and vodj, vodj, welcome, welcome, also, hope you're all doing well today. Um, I think, I think we've built about all we can without going back. The trains are coming, is that okay? I think it is. Are they actually able to get there? Yeah, they are. Started rail work in my SE game and almost gave up since one or two signals seemed to always be red. Uh-oh. Budgie bump. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Double up on power pole at train intersection. Double up on power pole. But let me park myself where the bots will easily resupply me first. Train intersection power pole. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I thought that felt weird. 
I, I thought I saw something that felt weird earlier. Um, this was just when we were running these poles over here manually. They probably won't reach now. And I'll try replacing the blueprint. And this one as well. Um, get this biomatter out of my inventory, please. Alright, so we need lots of assembly machines. Why don't we have them? Let's see. Assembly machine... two? Uh-oh. Oh, here they are. We have... 50. Take that. Take those. Take that, and that, and some of these, signals, uh, can I make room for these as well? How many hours do you have on this map? Um, uh, just under four days. Sure, I ended up putting way too many signals. Ended up with around 80 signals per roundabout. How many do we have here? Uh, 58 plus 4. 62. Well, depending on the size of your roundabouts, that's not necessarily that excessive. Although, with these roundabouts, uh, the trains can go both ways on the roundabout. This train has no path to here, apparently. Probably because we haven't finished the signaling. The rail looks okay. Yep, there it goes. Can we finish this before I run out of red? What's this train waiting for? Oh, same spot. Fair enough. I'm definitely loving the maneuverability of these smaller trains. I think it's going to be a lot harder to end up with traffic jams. Are we making more assembly machines? We are making signals. I should probably bite the bullet and just allow more logistic bots into the network. Some of them are going to crash. Many of you will die, but I'll get my stuff delivered to me slightly faster. Um, let's go get some more belt and assembly machines. That's a lot, but not necessarily overly much, yeah. And it depends on the intersection. Signals add up quickly. I think 50? Like, I actually think the chain signal stack size should be higher. Um, it takes a lot. Alright, how about we go up to 200 bots? Wait, what? Total logistic bots. Bot 
robot less than two. Oh, this is full because in K2 the roboports only fit so many construction bots. That's an issue. Um, but I guess I can just add some manually. Or I could tell the bots to build something. Could I set this to available construction as opposed to total construction? Um, I think we'll just go 150 so that there's room for both here. Also stack size 1 so that that'll be precise. Okay. Is it not gonna... There we go. The bots are being put in, we just can't see it in this display. I guess we're gonna learn to refurbish bots soon. What's... How bad is the bot interference wind? It varies from planet to planet, right? Robot Interference Wind 1.0. Don't know exactly what that translates to in terms of how many bots are going to crash. Um, but yeah, we're going to double our logistic bots here. So you're building everything on your cryo planet and not just stuff for cryonite rods? Yeah, we're going to move our empire there because it's closer to the exit point. It's about as close as it ever gets to the exit point of a solar system, um, which is going to mean shorter trips for spaceships when they go interstellar. It is going to have some challenges early on, like power production, uh, which thankfully we do have uh, biomethanol, really nice stopgap. So we basically, we use water to make wood, we use wood, oxygen, and steam to make biomethanol, and we just burn the biomethanol. Uh, this, if it's full of efficiency modules, gives us about 60 megawatts, I believe. Um, each set of 21 uh, greenhouses and 14 gas power stations and fuel refineries, and then one each of electric boilers and atmo condensers. The ratio is quite good. We get, like, exactly zero wood, uh, just barely any, uh, I think it's three per second oxygen. We consume most of the steam. Uh, let's see, 84 versus 105, and uh, this right here is one-to-one -one as well. Now then, uh, what do I need? I need assembly machines. Can we make those a bit faster than our autocrafter is going? Or have we already got them? We've got 11 more advanced ones. That's not what I'm looking for right now. I'll handcraft a few. How many do I need up here? Ghost. Uh, 41. I need two more. Oh, one more. As soon as the bots bring me more stuff. I'm a bit surprised I didn't come back to find 50 assembly machines. Um, in this chest for all the time we spent in Hagen. Uh, on Hagen. I probably should have checked what the autocrafter was doing. Maybe it got stuck on something. 
Is it possible to use efficiency modules at greenhouses? Yes. Um, it's just the lowest priority. Uh, I didn't have that many efficiency modules yet. Um, maximum power consumption of the fuel refineries normally is just over one megawatt. So that's our highest priority by far. This produces 4.5 megawatt. The greenhouses range from 6.6 .6 kilowatts to 207. Um, and also, for some reason, if you give it efficiency modules, it multiplies the negative pollution by 0.2. You get net positive... well, not net positive. You, the, the amount of pollution that this absorbs is reduced if you use efficiency modules. Um, but yeah, also the atmospheric condenser is a little bit more... Um, it's about double the priority of the greenhouse in terms of efficiency modules. But if you're only using efficiency modules, it only takes a pair of level 1s to get the minimum power consumption and pollution. So it's quite cheap. Throw a picture in Discord of the roundabout. The roundabout... Oh, that's my roundabout. Well, that's my old roundabout, I think. The the previous iteration before this one. I don't particularly see anything wrong with it. Best I can tell. For power, I wish I was doing K2. Understandable. Yeah, this is the only thing... This is like the first thing I can remember in uh, making in Factorio for power that wasn't solar power or some kind of thing that heats up and turns a steam turbine. Trains just had no pathing 80% of the time. It's probably some other issue. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty ordinary number of signals for that intersection. Asking because I'm not good at this and trying to make my way through it. Not doing K2, my power generation's really hard on each planet. Yeah. Um, I would probably... It, it depends on what stage of the game you're in, but spamming solar panels takes a little while to set up, but it's like the, the least headache in the long run. Assuming you have the media defenses, of course, since it takes up such a large area. Um, I may as well queue up more of these. I need my blue belts as well. I don't know why those are not in my requests. Alright, let's continue this build. 24% solar, ouch. Do you have nuclear power? Or is it too early? I mean, technically, if you go interplanetary, it's not too early for nuclear, but it might be a pain at this stage. Oh, that's way under for the blue belts. Did I not power this? I guess not. Can I make that fit? And look good. That seems okay. doop a doop We'll soon have prod threes. Might actually be worth doing some modules at some point. I'm not going to stress too much about early modules um, this time. Because they cost a lot of power for the early stages of the game. For not much benefit. It's 
Especially when I'm going to emphasize infinite resource sources. In the long run. Okay, so we need... Let's see. Three stacks of blue belt and not much else. Some inserters. drop off some of this rail and we need inserters and that's pretty much it just threw in my old abomination too <laughs> stupid beams had to have 2.1 gigawatts to protect it wait what oh the coronal mass ejections had a nice patch of uranium. Unfortunately, my patch just ran dry. Still have a lot of stock for Coverex. Uh, I really do strongly recommend Steam batteries for early game uh, coronal mass ejection protection. This is way more than enough. Or at least, it's probably a bit more than we need in terms of Steam turbines, but the Steam storage is way, way, way more than we need. Um, but yeah, you will lose a bit of efficiency, um, by boiling, uh, by bo using electricity to boil steam, but the power density of 5,000 degree steam, which you can get super, is this only 500? Oh yeah, because we only have, uh, regular steam turbines. Even so, um, the power density of 500 degree steam is much, much, much better than trying to keep up with it with accumulators or lots of power production from the beginning. Alright, that's our LDS. Already got two stacks. Fantastic. Where are you going? Oh, you're coming back. And we also have zero heat shields. What's going on? I don't think we have stone tablets in the rail block yet. Um, I guess let's do a build for that. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Stone tablets. Stone tablets are super inefficient uh, stack-wise. Because stone bricks stack to a hundred uh ignoring productivity bonuses we get four per stone brick and the stack size stays the same and it's really 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 fast to make them um even so it might just be easier in a lot of cases, to have stone tablets in the rail network. Especially since I just made this build to work that way. Um, I think what I'll do is just put stone tablets right here. Um, let's turn the RoboPort off and jump to the editor. And... I'm sure it's going to be ludicrous the rate at which we would produce these. So we probably don't even want a whole block for it. Maybe I'll do a little tiny build somewhere else. Um, if we're on assembly machine twos, stone tablet, uh, it would take only 15 machines to get two blue belts. Hmm. How about four blue belts? 30 machines.
that's not that bad. Okay, can we do the usual layout? Uh, I'll start with wide area beacon measured for the middle. Um, it's just going to be one, one in, one out, right? Put down our assembly machines and we only need fifteen per quarter, right? If we're going for four, can we even fit that? So this is one blue belt, and we'd only need half a blue belt of input, which means two of these should share a belt for input. Two of them could share a belt for output, actually, except... Six per second. I'd prefer to use loaders. Which, considering that we've only got one product going in each time, is not out of the question. Let's see how it would look. We would need well it's more the output that's a bit faster 1.5 per second stone break six stone tablets out so something like this should be fine actually nice and compact it takes more space to use loaders for inputs, but no more space to use them for output. Okay. Seven point five per second in, thirty per second. Wait, thirty per second out? Oh, that doesn't fit on one blue belt. Uh, does it? No. I don't know where I got that idea. Hold on. Ninety. This is two blue belts. Yeah. It's kind of awkward, actually. That's kind of very awkward, actually. I could have this output to belts on both sides, and then we just have to figure out how the input is going to look. I could stretch this out a little bit. Uh, one fewer than that, actually. And... If I have a couple of tiles like this, well, it probably doesn't have to be a couple. We should be able to keep up with the input with long arms, right? Therefore, just like that. Which means, actually, this could be significantly... well, one tile closer. Okay. 
What am I missing here? Oh, I see. So let's see. Uh, two belts of output. This one's going to either side. This one's going to the outsides. Half a belt of blue in. And if we coffee paste mirror that. I guess we could make this a bit more compact. Not too much more. No, we could. Should be able to fit a beacon here. I don't see how how we would fit beacons before level 2, though. Maybe I don't care about that. It's going to be so fast, and stone is so abundant. I'm missing something. What are those red inserters doing? Uh, they are taking from the wrong place, actually, because I moved all of this in a tile. Quite right. Let's start from the top. Let's redo all of this just to be sure. And I'll delete, copy, paste, and flip this. Uh, this needs undergrounds. Actually, this will be a little bit different. Yeah, that's fine. This looks kind of weird. That looks about right. Hey, Undead Hunter. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Remulac, welcome, welcome also. Is there a blueprint for that? Uh, for which? Oh, for the uh, steam battery? I don't think I have blueprinted it. Um, but all you really need to do is line up electric boilers going into steam storage going into steam turbines um, and you can have them pretty much in any order after the boilers seems that you're using the long arms to put stuff in from the output belt yes indeed Kelpel, welcome welcome hope you're doing well could still use red and uh, red inserters when you put the input belt on the other side save one more tile of space uh, true. But now that we're on nothing but blues and it all fits, I think I want to keep it, just in case. Uh, I doubt it'll ever get fast enough Um, that long arm inserters would be bad, but we'll keep it that way just in case. Also, I haven't forgotten that we will need these output belts um, to look a little something like this. Um, I could do a gigantic 8 to 8 balancer. Or I could use a warehouse. Um, although this would have to be like diagonal. Let's do it this way. So we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Loaders in. One, two, three, four. Load is out. Built this in here. 
equip. And something's something's off. No, wait, that's right. Uh, maybe I'll move the whole thing over just to make this look a little better. We'll see where things line up. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm leaning towards that. So this could go here. Maybe not. One, two, three, four. And yeah, it's going to be like that on one side or the other, no matter what I do. I could put this here so that this will be a bit straighter. That seems fine. Where's our other output? It should be here, actually. And don't forget this. And... Did I miss something? No? Oh, yes I did. This goes here. Okay, let's test it real quick. Um, infinity chest. Don't need to do anything fancy this time, since it's just one product in, one product out. Where's our stone brick? I could make sure it's balanced at least, but if we can fit eight train loads, and we're only going to request like two or three train loads at a time, as long as we're requesting... Yeah, it shouldn't matter if it gets a little bit imbalanced. It'll sort itself out. Stone brick. Pick up. And... Wait, no, that was wrong. Uh, stone brick. Requester. Turned into stone tablets. Stone template. If we need more than this for a long time, I'll be very surprised. Let's connect this over here for the symmetry of it. Oh wait, does that actually reach all the way down? It does. Yeah, I like that better. And then we just need to take from here. Uh, we need... Only one belt of input on each side. So we'll just... I need to split it one to three though. Yuck. It's fine, we can just do it like this. We don't even need to worry about splitting it, we can just take it directly. Um, from this container. And... Over here. It's not going to line up the same way. Should 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, bad. Should probably even do it this way. Nice and easy. Um, how about... How about this? That seems good. Let's get some power. And check that everything's lined up correctly. Where are the subs? Oh, that's convenient. No, that's one off being extremely convenient. This is a tragedy. Uh. I guess let's do it this way. One off, indeed. Redo, start from scratch. Are those storage boxes that are on the train tracks a mod or part of SE? It's, uh, the mod is called Bulk Rail Loader. Um, it automatically loads or unloads a train, a cargo wagon, and it scales with your stack size bonus. Okay, let's do this, and this. And see how that lines up. Nice. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Um, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. I don't see... Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. These two machines are completely blocked, but theoretically... Theoretically, we should... Oh, that's 30 per second. Uh-oh, I think I miscalculated. Fun, still struggling with poor rocket planning for building. Uh-oh. Uh, this isn't connected. That's why that one's not bottled up, not blocked just yet. Yeah, did I straight up calculate it wrong, or did I do something different with the belts? Um, 90 per second should be two belts of output. Right? I mean, 180 is 4, which we've got here. This is... 30... per second. What am I getting confused about here? 45 times 2 is 90, times 2 is 180, that's 4 blue belts. Um, we've got this using both half of, halves of the belt. This using one half of the belt. You calculated right, but two thirds of it is being loaded on one lane. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one has the same problem, yes. But this one weirdly doesn't. So, 30 per second, 30 per second, 30 per second. One third on this half, one third on this half, and one third on this half and this half. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I could just use inserters for some of these. Except, I wanted to avoid inserters because of how high the throughput is going to get if we speed it up a bit. Uh, 
has bigger beacons than I do, but I guess that's a K2 mod. Uh, do you mean the wide area beacons? That's just SE, but it's like pretty late game. Wickinger Bruder, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this should be 22.5. Um, do we really need this many stone bricks anyway? I should probably just remove a few buildings and call it done. Just planning? Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have these beacons yet. I, I don't have, um... Uh, substation pylons where I'm up to. And I definitely don't have, uh, infinity accumulators. Anyway, I need to sleep tea hacks supposed to get up in three hours to participate in Mucky's shenanigans. Uh-oh. Take care, burgers. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the raid. Have fun with it. I actually use a similar beacon mod in my SE game, since I don't like the beacon spam for vanilla. Non-SE games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate... I, I love the way SE redid beacons. Um, I can't stand vanilla beacon spam. That's probably the main reason, in fact, I've never done a vanilla mega base. Um, alright, so... Uh, if we limit this to three-fifths of what it is now... Why don't we instead try to fit regular beacons in somewhere? What science do you plan to do after prod and utility? Have you decided yet? Uh, energy. Energy 1 gets us space rail. And it doesn't take much of it. So I might even just do like a really tiny, lazy, uh, not fully automated energy science build just to get the 50 energy energy one science packs um to get space rail as a matter of fact um but that's absolutely going to be my first priority when we get there um all right can i perhaps how many is this 10 that's terrible how many do we need for one belt Uh, eight is just over a belt. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I think we'll just do like... You know what? I'm too attached to this. Let's just scrap it. know when to call it quits on a build. So this is going to be here somewhere. And I'm not going to worry about maximizing how much we fit under one beacon. We're just going to do like four sets of eight. Um, and make sure we leave plenty of room. We, only, we don't need much for input. Um, but we probably need, like, double for output. And we go... Stone tablet. V uh, basic beacon would fit here somewhere. So we'll do output like this. Actually, can I do loaders for output and still fit a basic beacon? I think I can. Not if I use splitters, but... If we have one belt for each uh, section, that should be fine. 
So basic beacon could even fit somewhere like this, I think. Or maybe Oh, I could just do this even. That's probably better. Just use more belt than we need at first. That doesn't look right. The beacon should still reach quite easily. Alright, input belts. Inserters. Probably don't even need that much belt here. Um, Twelve stone brick per second. Yeah, we could definitely squeeze this a bit closer. Oh, it's going over the side as well. Do it like that. Our max rate with no bacon. Uh, just over 180 per second, actually. How many do we need for exactly four belts? 30. How many did we end up with? 32. Well, there's no way. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no way to divide 30 by four, is there? A derp. Uh, so this would be... 24 per second, slightly more than half a belt, less than half a belt. Let's double check that rate again. 168. I think I messed up. Yeah, no, we needed to reduce it from, from 30 to 32, didn't we? Whoops. 192, 30. Uh, we could just probably make that go away quietly. Alright, so each of these belts is going to have plenty of room on it. In fact, we could have red belts for output if we do it this way. Or I could just combine these two, but I'd need a splitter to merge it properly. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight output belts. Seems good. That breach is incredible. Breach is also incredible, but contextually less so. I feel like I'm missing something here. Here it is. Okay, does this go... Hmm. I don't see a way to make that look neat and consistent. I 
guess this will have to do. And then... Like so. And... A like so. Like so. Wait, that wasn't lined up. Uh, I feel like this is going to be better. On second thought... No, definitely like this. And we've got so much room if we need to increase... Like, if we're beyond base, basic beacons and this is going even faster, and we want to merge with splitters, we can do that. Um, so this is going to go here. Now this looks weird. Yuck. That's way too long not to use an underground. Which makes this one feel weird and inconsistent. But, what are you going to do? It's kind of lose-lose there. Um, so we actually have only three input belts for the whole thing, which is more than enough. Let's do it this way. I wish the train stop wasn't in the way of just sending it out like this. But we'll do one of these. Nope. Nope. That was your input belt? What was my input belt? Uh... What was my input belt? Needed to remove two, not four. Indeed. Starting Holmanite now for energy seems much more complex. Yeah, they buffed up the complexity a bit. In a few places. Lower left belt on output. Oh, that's the input belt. True. Thank you. Alright, so this one... Oh yeah, this needed to... To go like this, didn't it? And then... That looks a lot more consistent. That That's much nicer. Okay, cool. Win-win. Let's bring this down here. And last but not least. Both sides can go to this one. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Take care, Remelk. Uh, Remelak. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, that looks weird now. Let's bring it down like this, I guess. And... Yeah, that should be fine. This will all fit under one big one or four small beacons. Um, we get exactly four belts of stone tablets before we put any modules in. Uh, we just need to power it. And let's assume all of our beacons are in place. Oh, that fits so easily under the substations. Yes, please. Fantastic. I might actually see if I can't make this connect at both ends. I like that better. Beacon should still be able to not quite touch all of it. What if we put this up one? 
so it's just barely reaching the outside one. Perfect. Alright. Stone tablet pickup. That took longer than expected for such a simple recipe. But it's not necessarily the recipe complexity that's everything. Uh, stone brick. Requesting two tree modes. Now the next question is, do we have stone brick in the rail network? Um, I don't think we already do. I think all of our research is done that we can get done right now. We've got 64 times 1 point... Uh, what is it? 1.18 plus a bit. We've got, if we're lucky, 100? I don't think 100 research remaining. Um, we can maybe get Cryonite Lubricant. Condenser Turbine? We don't need it right now, but I'm definitely more excited about that. Mechanical Facility? That, we can't do that yet. Alright, let's try to research Condenser Turbine. We'll probably run out. Alright, now then. Oh, let's use LTN Manager. Do I have that here somewhere? LTN Man... Ninja. Remember how I didn't blueprint that thing we just built? When was the last autosave? Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to redo what we just did. Alright, let's try and speedrun it. And I guess I won't be touching LTN Manager. It's probably because of the lab that it gets confused, maybe. That's Remind the only thing I can think of. Is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. Okay, so... We're gonna do... Three and four assembly machines. Stone tablet. Beacon one. Uh, loaders. Wide area beacon in the middle. That's not quite right. There we go. Obviously, I'll be turning these around. Actually, like this. Let's just do one side and then... Uh, I was actually able to bring this inner tile. Do that as well. Input belts times three. One, two, three. And... How many is this? Eight. Output bounce. This isn't sticking out, is it? No, oh, we're good. 
One. this lined up the same? Yeah, it is. Th that much is, anyway. And four. And can we just copy, paste, flip this for the most part? I feel like this is further to the left, but maybe I was sticking out over the midway line before. We can move it two tiles to the right, at least. Well, no, exactly. Two tiles to the right. Um, let's just move all of this. I hate how it overrides the loader. Uh, what are you going to do? I feel like that looks a little better, actually. One, two, three, four. Beacon fits here somewhere. Loader output looks a little something like this. name is already correct. We're requesting at least two train loads of stone brick. I might have not put that as a negative last time. And I almost feel like for the sake of symmetry doing this. Oh, I guess it's closer to being symmetrical anyway. Wait, put those back until we place the substations. One, two, three, and four. Nice and easy. Okay, I think that's it. Good enough. Let's blueprint it. Quickly, quickly. 86, 24 is our snap to grid absolute. Tablet is the build. Basic stone tablet. Hey, repetitive beats. Hissing walnuts. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rorosaur as well. Everyone coming out with sound effects. Okay. So that is our blueprint. And I'm sure we don't have stone bricks yet either. Yay indeed. I could do stone bricks in the same place, but I don't really feel like it. Uh, no. let's go with another block for stone bricks. We'll probably be copying our layout from copper plate. Where am I going? Here it is. A yay train? It's been a minute. Oh, I can't make stone brick here? Nope. 
<laughs> oh my god. All right, okay. Has he his light? Uh, Kellogg's, thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Osoro, Westiax, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Null Cascade, good to see you again also. Um, so yeah, we can't make stone brick here. Recipe book. I should probably remove uh, LTN manager. So I don't... Ex I'm afraid of shortcuts now because I might bring it up somehow. LTN manager. Control T. Oh, that's how I crashed the game ages ago. Because I think I was trying to bring up research, which is T. And thank you very much for converting the Prime sub to a tier 1, Kellogg's. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. If I recall correctly, LTN Manager was fixed with an update. Okay. I did update fairly recently, just not like today. Or well, this week, I guess. What was I looking for? Stone brick. I'm trying to get used to this uh, recipe book. Uh, UI. It's a lot more responsive than FNEI. Um, my first impression is it's going to be better, but I still do find FNEI a bit easy to use sometimes. Uh, so... Stone brick, stone... We can only make it in furnaces, excluding industrial furnaces. Which means we're probably going to have the same layout. Or a, or a very similar one. Um, how fast is stone brick compared to this? Stone... Where is stone brick? What? Am I blind? What? Oh, it's not in a it's not in an assembly machine. We just established this. Okay. Stone brick. How long does it take? Um It's way slower than stone tablet. Per minute. Let's look at that. 360 per minute versus 37. It's like 10 times slower. Alright. So I think we'll just go for... We don't... We won't need as many belts, but... I could still use the same... Uh, it feels a bit wasteful. Um, we'll do our usual layout from... Let me save it real quick. <laughs> We've had enough crashes today. Okay. As our train slinks away. Um, I probably want to steal from myself for the layout somewhere, like this one. If we have... 48 electrical furnaces... How fast does that give us stone brick? Uh, 30 per second? One belt? Sure. So I'll steal from myself for the layout. And... Let's see how that goes. Don't need the trees, actually. Oh, this is... 
lined up wrong. Um, can we get rid of all of this? And I think I decided on doing something a bit different. Like, this container here is just so that these will be consumed at the same rate. But I don't think we have to worry about it that much, as long as we're only putting... Like, as long as we're not trying to fill this, uh... These containers too much. 40k iron plate. Uh, that's five train loads. That's more than half. I guess that could be kind of imbalanced. We'll keep this. It's fine. Electric furnace. And. I guess I haven't made it that easy. If I want to fit tier 1 beacons, I would have to move the substations. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I forgot we have to set recipes with K2. And that's only one red belt of stone brick. So we could probably move these in a bit. And we still need room for the beacon here someday. But I'm guessing... I'm going to take a wild guess and say that even with high tier beacons... Is that a 2? Let's, let's try a wide area beacon 1. 2 is a super late. We might have to redesign things for that anyway. And prod modules... Oh, we can only fit 2. So probably more speed modules, maybe? Yeah, more speed module, I think. That's still negative 80% power. And yes, okay, cool. So if we have the top tier modules in same build... With a wide area beacon one. Uh, we're looking at 210 stone brick per second. Which is more than two belts. Wait, what would be the input? 300 per second? I think we'd probably just spread that out over more train stations. That's, um, that's five stacks per second, so we would need, uh, one train every 26 seconds. That's not that ridiculous. It's getting there. But maybe I should not have narrowed this like I did. Uh, it's overkill for now with the belts, but it's very, very upgradable, is the point. Alright, let's grab our train. Oh. Right about here. Just double check that's in the middle. Fantastic. Alright. 
Alright, so this is Stone Brick Provider. And we'll need to run this through a merger and splitter. I think for now, since we actually only have a couple of belts of output, or it's, it's literally just one belt of output, isn't it? I think until we module it, I'll just put in one belt of output like so. Loaders go here. Need a splitter. Actually, we could have used that splitter. Don't know why I didn't hear a notification, but Moonbeam, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's just double check and test this. Uh, stone brick. Stone brick. There it is. Paramio on. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's supposed to be stone, you absolute uh Okay, stone, uh, two train loads, stone input not brick, indeed, and um, I guess I'll have to delete these. We can't use undo to put these back because they're a bit weird, but that looks fine. And then, nice and easy to just delete this and put it back when we're in editor mode. So a mistake like that doesn't really cost any time at all. We will be needing some more power. And I think that's basically it. Wait, what about the station name? Uh, stone brick... stone, rather, goes into electric furnace and comes out as stone brick. And down here, stone brick provider. Step to grid is 86.24. Train stop names, yes. Stone brick. Basic stone brick. And I think we are Dunsky. Uh, I guess let's put the stone things together. Okay. Are there any other prerequisites we're missing for what we've already built? I think it was just stone tablets. Heat shield, LDS, explosives. Um, we've got LDS. Not sure why it hasn't... I, I see now why it hasn't been picked up yet. Let me fix that. Didn't realize my robots were inactive. Should be a train coming any second now. Uh, and then 
We've got the copper plate. Heat shield needs stone tablets. LDS we just fixed, and we have to add explosives. Alright, uh, stone... Our stone mine is up here. We've already got stone being dropped off here. May as well put another one up this way. And I'll be sure to put stone tablets nice and close to that. Or, no, it should be the other way around. Put stone tablet builds close to what uses stone tablets. So that'll go here. Uh, stone tablet. And stone brick is going to be up here, I think. We will be needing some electric furnaces. There's already a train on the way. I forgot to remove the uh, cheat items from the blueprint. Infinity accumulator, super inserter, and infinity chest. Be gone. And we will be needing 48 uh, electric furnaces, which I believe we do you have down here? No results found. Uh-oh. Oh wait, we've got them like on the belt. Yeah, that won't be a problem. I should probably give the biters some more attention before they evolve on me. Uh, I presume we've still been killing them lately. Yes, indeed. They haven't destroyed anything for... Two and a, qu uh, two and a quarter hours, and all they've been destroying is just chipping away at stone walls. For the last ten. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go get some electric furnaces. And we're going to need a bunch of rail. I can handcraft some. New run? Uh, no? Well, yes, depending on when you need, when you mean by new. Uh, we're at part, what, 15, 16 today? So this is just over four days of in-game time. Oh, I had some more assemblers. No, I didn't. Those were loaders. I had a couple more assemblers. Um, I thought this handcrafting would be a little quicker. Now it's nice and quick. Just needed the steel beams. I forgot to remove the cheat items from this blueprint as well. Stone tablets. Let's park over here before we do that. Uh, stone tablet. There we go. So we need a bunch of blue belt and a 
wipe out a stack of assemblers and electric furnaces. I don't understand why industrial furnaces can't make stone brick though. Oh. Oh, that was actually all the rail that we handcrafted. That was quick. As soon as I get back, I'll just double check that we didn't miss any wiring, particularly on the drop-off stations, because that would lead to a train being stuck there. Uh, this looks fine. And this looks fine. And this looks fine. Okay, cool. Do we have any assembly machines? We do. Fantastic. Uh, have some iron. Why not? And we'll go pick up those electric furnaces. We don't need them very often. Which is... Not surprising, considering we're generally just using industrial furnaces instead. Let's grab from here. I need 48. No, that's 49. There we go. 48 exactly. And I'll need to pick up some more rail and a lot more blue, uh, blue belts. Blue belt. That's not a belt. Captain True, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Missed you for a week or so. How's it going? Pretty well. Too bad at all. We're just getting to the point of... Uh, so the goal for today is to have a good production chain for delivery cannon capsules and every basic resource that we can send through them to Hagen, which we're going to make our main base. Finally, indeed. So as Tweaks mod, he changes that. Tweaks mod? Okay, is this working? It is looking pretty good, I think. Fantastic. And let's move... Oh, let's not forget the rest of the rail. Even this bit. Let me just have some assemblers down here. Not to mention a bunch of blue belt. I forgot to pick up the blue loaders. Uh, we need a lot of them. How hard is this to craft? Not hard at all. For the first ten. Tweaks mod does some things to tighten up the K2SE integration, though it is not official k 2 se You see... Uh, how many more do we need? Six and twenty-five. So I'm off by one click for both of them. I'm out of steel gears. Sad. And I'm, I'm one off for both the loaders and the fast inserters to finish this build. Alright. Let's go get them. Turned them off a while ago because they can take quite a while sometimes. Alright, give me a stack of blue loaders and a stack of blue inserters. Make it two. And then, I don't know, what else? Uh, so that should complete the chain for 
except for explosives. Um, the delivery cannon capsules. Where am I going? Up here. Where's this fellow going? Back home, I guess? Yeah, back home. Or sleepy time, as some would call it. Alright, stone brick, are you there? You are indeed. We're actually, like, almost three quarters ready with a train load already. Fantastic. I'm, I'm really liking how much quicker we fill a train uh, with the two cargo wagons. Now then, explosives. Explosives require... Um, I can't look at them here because I can't handcraft them. Oh yes I can. I mean, I can't handcraft them, but I can look at them here. Coal, sulfur, and water. And not a whole lot of water. Um, give me that thought. Let's see. If we steal this layout... Maybe not this layout exactly. Since we will need fluid. That won't be a problem, actually. It's only one fluid in and zero fluids out. Explosives. Let's put the input on the input side. So... If we did this with no beacons, we would be only looking at 24 explosives per second and 120 water. This is definitely a build where we could have a train drop off water, as opposed to worrying about piping it directly. And what do we need? Coal and sulfur in equal measure. So, I think I'll put, what did I break? I think I'll put the container on the other side as to be out of the way of the physical stuff. The solids, rather. And we want... It's really slow, I could probably use a small one. Uh, how many belts would this need if we supersize it? Let's go full speed ahead, but with efficiency. Actually, three prods. Can we get away with one more speed? Uh, that would be plus 100%, so the answer is no. Okay. Um, how many machines is this? 48. 153. 48 in of each and 153 out. What's our best belt? 90. So just over one belt in and significantly less than two out. Um, yeah, we can definitely tighten this one up a bit. Let's move all of those in a little bit. And 
We still need room for the beacon. I think I forgot last build I actually wanted to have just one belt here and use long arms. Oh well. Uh, I can't remember. It was going to be barely more than one belt of input, wasn't it? For the whole thing, even super beaconed. So, let's do it like this. Oh yeah, I forgot. By the time we have these super... superior transport belts, we probably have superior inserters. Material 2, Astro 2, Optimization Tech Card. And this one's even easier. Well, uh, yeah, okay, so the superior inserters require Astro 2, as well as all of this. But yeah, we can basically assume that we'll have faster inserters for the long arms. Um, and then water is just like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, we're going to need to flip this one around if we're going to fit the beacon. So I guess we'll do water on the right on both of these and left on both of these. And then, like so. And I could have done this a bit sooner. Wait, no, this one. Flip that around. Okay. Now then. Loaders. Uh, actually, we need to. We need to do a shared belt, so. We'll do it. This way. It'll ultimately end up being a bit more than two belts of each resource. So I think I'd like to... Oh, I need to control it from both sides anyway. So this is fine. One, two, one, two. And that doesn't quite fit. One, two, one, two. Help goes here. We are going to tell LTN what we've got with this wire. And separately look at just this container with the red wire. Uh, it's coal and sulfur. Let's go sulfur here. And coal here. Stack size is the same. What can we fit in this little container? Uh, 96 stacks, so 48 times 50. Uh, 2400. If sulfur less than 2400, let it through. If coal. Less than 2,400. Let it through. And then... I don't really have a... Let's use... Let's use infinity loaders. Uh, we can fit it here. Two. One, two. Sulfur and coal and I 
don't really care exactly what ratio we end up with in here for the testing. As long as it doesn't end up just being one or the other. So then... If we're using just a 2x2, two two, we really are pushing it. I'll have to do it like... Like this. What? Oh. Coal. Sulfur. And then... Splitting it into three is a little bit awkward, but what are you going to do? Kalem Grandmaster, Imo, Kevin, well, welcome, hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Finally, a stream where I am free to participate. Indeed. Participate. Is that a multi-stop? Yes, it is. Now I also want big tanks, indeed. Yeah, I like how it can just... Uh, it, unfortunately, there's we're one tile short in this space here to have one tank that is just directly connected to both fluid wagons. Um, if we're going to do it on the outside with these smallest possible roundabouts. Feels bad. Whoops. Uh, but what are you going to do? So what are we making here again? Explosives. Explosive pickup. Oh, and I did decide on one train that's just going to be a single cargo wagon. Uh, that's going to be for delivery cannon capsules. I think... I think we can safely say 2,000 delivery cannon capsules in a single delivery uh, should be sufficient, I hope. I mean, if I'm wrong about that, we can just change it later, I guess. Boovim, welcome, welcome also. Hope you're doing well. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well also. I've taken the editor extension mod, uh, already loving it, and of course, pick a dollies. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Um, I would feel better if this was in the middle a bit more. Splitter. Yeah, I like that better. Speaking of in the middle, we didn't overstep. Oh. No, that'll be fine. Yeah, we're not, like, overstepping the middle of this block. Okay, then. Why is this blue? Belt. And belt and belt. And we need water as well. Uh, this can just go straight up here seems like the neatest way to do it, especially since we know uh, the max rate of water consumption here is so low, otherwise we wouldn't be delivering it by train. And yeah, we can put this wherever we want. Let's just double check it all works. And that we have power. good.
Is this one working? It is not. My god, those underground pipes have a long reach? Yeah, the steel underground pipes have an even longer one. Look at this. So this is the vanilla but not underground pipes with K2SE. And this is the steel underground pipes. Um, I think it goes 50% further if we're counting the m number of tiles it jumps over. 19 versus 29. It's actually almost closer to... It doesn't look like double. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Hi, your bottom right doesn't have water input? Uh, it does now. But I'm guessing you typed that a little bit earlier. Or Ao, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, De Camillo, good to see you again. Also, do you have signaling to prevent multiple simultaneous trains on multi-stop uh, stations? Yes. It's uh, it's no different from any other type of signaling. It's just break it up into blocks and only one train allowed in each block at a time. And it's uh chain signals for going into a block where trains are not allowed to stop and rail signals for going into blocks where trains are allowed to stop uh, even if there isn't a train stop there. A2 pretty much says why should undergrounds have limits? Yeah. Why indeed. Alright, I think that's our explosive build done. I don't think I've named the station, though. Um, we will be needing both request thresholds, because we've got water coming in. So it is coal, sulfur, and water. Coal. Uh, what? Where is it? Coal, sulfur, and water. Going into a chemical plant and making explosives and LTN. Uh, standard is looking for two train loads, so 8,000. It's the same number as what used to be one train load last run, so I have some of these memorized. Water is 100k. And that should be fine. Let's blueprint that. Cannot disconnect. I accidentally pressed V. Not disconnect rolling stock, not in vehicle. Explosives. Uh, 8624 is our snap to grid. Include train stop names. Don't include infinity accumulator. And we're good. What happened to my sound? I can hear... Okay, I think we're fine now. I didn't change anything. Was weird. Uh, so where do we want explosives? Coal and sulfur. In fact, all of the inputs are so slow, I don't think it matters that much. But we'll put it close to coal and sulfur at least. We'll probably put it here actually. That should be pretty good. Where am I going? Explosives. Probably going to have to pick up chemical plants. I hate that some upgrades change stack size of cargo wagons. Stack size of cargo wagons? Do you mean 
the space trains having more stacks? Probably a mod I use, okay. Can I handcraft one of these? Uh, where even is it? No, I can't. And we need 48 once again, chemical plants. What's your take, RoboPorts or RailGrid? Uh, it depends on what you're doing with it. Yay or nay? But I said it depends. We need some power over here. Both? Yeah, definitely. Uh, rail grids transport things far for so little power and maintenance and so on. Robo ports, uh, logistic bots cannot be beat or transporting solids a very short distance. Um, absolutely insane throughput. So that's why I use them for loading and unloading spaceships. Grenal mass ejection heading towards Nalvis orbit, six hours. We're probably fine. Um, Navsat? Wait, no, what am I doing? Informatron? Energy beams? We're still only getting 2.8 gigawatts. At, um, which I think is equivalent to the first one we had. One for Nalvis Orbit, one for Nalvis. They're practically back-to-back, -back, though. Um, I wonder if... I did calculate that the steam that we've got stored here is way more than we need. But the fact that I'm seeing this... Uh, the fact I'm seeing these steam turbines kicking into gear... Tells me maybe we're not at a surplus right now. Oh, it's it's nighttime, that's why. Um, but more to the point, I don't remember exactly how many coronal mass ejections this thing will stop in back to back. So we should probably make sure we get more of a surplus of power. So that we can save up to prepare for that. I could do some biomethanol like I'm doing on Hagen, but that pollutes and we're dealing with biters here, so I don't really want to do that. We'll just spam some more solar panels. And we have quite a few of them. Accumulators. I still haven't finished placing some of these. And I don't... I think I got rid of the blueprint that I had for this. Wait, what? Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dark Rail, good to see you again also. I'm curious, why did you pick another planet to be your main base? Uh, top reason is it's closer to the exit of the solar system. So in space exploration, the way the way things work with, um, with spaceship travel distance is... You'd be surprised if we take a trip from Calidus to Cal... Calmea? Calmea. Um, well, I can't see any other planets here, but if we go from Calidus to Calmea, the distance, the difference in distance from going from, uh, Nalvis 
all the way down here and then down this way to if we started at Hagen is actually a lot bigger than you would think. Like a big, maybe even the majority of the journey distance from Calidus to Kalmea, if we start at Nalvis Orbit, is actually inside the solar system. Uh, and this is going to be doubly, triply, quadruply true later on because, spoilers, we are going to use Foenestra which is an anomaly which is equal distance from everywhere. So every uh, every exit to the interstellar map from a solar system or from whenever you leave uh, an asteroid field, for example, is exactly 10,000 distance away from Foenestra, which is actually really, really quite close. Um, the shortest distance... Let's see. If I look at... If we look at distance from Nalvis to Kalmea, um, Delta V from Nalvis, 27,003. Um, so this is like 2.7 times the distance from... To get here from Nalvis, uh... I guess that's including taking off in the Delta V, but still. Um, that's like 2.7 times the distance of going from this point to Foenestra. So if we go from here to Foenestra to somewhere else, back to Foenestra, back to here, um, the distance of our trips, of our interstellar trips for our spaceships is going to be ridiculously short. Um, the cost of that is we're going to need a somewhat complicated system to make that happen. But um, when the distances are that short as well, it actually makes a pretty huge difference to the overall travel distance and time, whether we're going, once we get back into the solar system, whether we're going just here to Hagen or all the way down to Nalvis. Uh, and in the shorter term, Hagen is a biteless planet with a lot of different resources that we need. But it's also the first... Uh, it, it's our first planet that we're going to for cryonite core fragments as well. Cryonite being what we need for our next science. Uh, SPJ AK Geek, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Four months. Thank you so much. I had some busy weeks, finally, again, some time to see your streaming Factorio. Good to have you back. Hope you're doing well. That's so lucky. Wait, what's lucky? Oh, uh, that I got a Bidalus... A Bidalus Hagen? I thought Hagen was always Bidalus. I went to the tiny moon for cryonite, as you might do. Um, why are my bots confused? Oh, my inventory is too full, that's why. Alright, let's place the rest of these panels. And... I should really just do it like this. Hopefully we won't be needing that space. And I hope that'll be enough of a difference in surplus um, that we start saving up steam a bit faster. No, the bot's placing it for me and now the solar panels are stuck in my inventory. up here. Got different planets than I do? Yeah. Um, there's certain rules that are followed, but there's also 
Well, it's procedural generation, is what I'm trying to say. Drop one bot top left of your solar panel. It dropped one. Oh, poor guy. Get in here. Thanks. Or Ayo. Okay. Um, can we remove these ghosts? I can't be bothered with the rest. At least for the moment. And hopefully the amount of steam we have is going to climb now. Actually, I should have... Yeah, I've got a green wire here measuring all the steam. Here it is. 3.2 million. And our steam gives us... Um, where is it? 500 joules per degree Celsius at 500 degrees Celsius. Um, so 25... Wait, what? Two hundred and fifty thousand? Wait, 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 what did I say? Five hundred joules per degree times five hundred. Oh wait, no no no. It's five hundred joules times three point one million. So we've got this many jewels. Um, I wish I wish the calculator mod would include some commas. Uh, 1.5 billion? I think. So what, 1.5 gigajoules? That doesn't sound right. It's 182 gigajoules over 120 seconds. I think I got a decimal point wrong or something, because I know we calculated um, that if the steam batteries are full, we've got enough energy to withstand multiple coronal mass ejections. A working bot is a happy bot, indeed. Definitely happier than if it's left on the ground. Wait, what is that? 2.28 and what? For the CME? Uh, we're about to have a 1.87 gigawatt uh, coronal mass ejection aimed at Nalvis orbit, and then less than three hours later, a 2.28 aimed at Nalvis. Which is good by because you're getting hit by multiple, apparently. Yes. Um, so can we try harder to calculate this properly? I'm going to use the Windows calculator so I can see the decimals. Or, or the commas. So 500 joules per degree Celsius at 500 degrees. Yeah, it is 500 times 500 times 3.1 million. Oh, we have ludicrous amounts of energy stored here. I have a calculator for it, I just need to pull it up one sec, indeed. That's why my umbrella is in orbit, infinite power, indeed. Yeah, well, we can't easily spam solar panels in orbit just yet. Um, yeah, we have 500 degree steam at times 3.1 million. Last time you used it, if I remember correctly, you used like 700k steam. For one. Yep, that sounds about right. So I really have gone ham with the storage there, which is fine. Um, okay, so what are we doing next? We're finishing our explosives build. Do I have some pumps? Why do I have regular pumps still? Get out of here. Steel pumps. Pretty much better in every way. Including power efficiency. Because pumps spend most of their time idle. Or especially the, uh, the ones at the rail stations. 
Um, it's a little less power efficient when it's actually working, but the minimum power consumption is zero for some reason. Uh, we also need chemical plants. Chemical plants. And that's about all I can think of right now. I think that's actually all we need. Oh, and a big, uh, big fluid storage. I know I wasn't just handcrafting these anymore, but where are they? Oh, they're in here. I just haven't requested them. How many steam tanks do you have? Uh, let's see. 162 times 50k. Okay, assuming 500 degree steam, I can tell you how many tanks you need if you haven't figured it out yet. Uh, go for it. I can't really spare that much brain power today. In point 0.5 solar panel in sun orbit are quite overpowered. We even power interstellar bases with beams. There's no real need for antimatter reactor. It's rebalanced in point 0.6 question mark. Um, you really only need the antimatter reactors uh, for, like, the Victory ship and Foenestra. Just need numbers for both. Uh, yeah, so we have 3.1 million steam at the moment. 3.2, more like. Uh, and the maximum storage is approximately 162 times 50,000. Numbers for CM easels. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, 1.87 gigawatt peak. Oh, sorry, gigajoules. G gigajoules are 149 and 182. 149 and 182. There's our explosives coming in fast. And is that everything? What are we missing here? LDS heat shielding. Shouldn't we have those by now? LDS is coming in. We've got... We've got so many LDS already. We've got like almost 20,000. Heat shield is a little slower. It's got no sulfur. Um, is sulfur having a problem? Petroleum. I think I see the problem. Yeah. I don't know how or when this happened. This is supposed to be looking... I think the water is being pumped in directly. Because sulfur is relatively fast. So we're just looking for petroleum here. What are we going to do with 50k sulfuric acid? Do we have room for it in here? We do. Okay. Um, so we're going to move you down here. Wait until empty cargo. And I'll just turn those pumps around. Hopefully we don't have another train waiting with sulfuric. I think we only have one fluid wagon still. And away you go. Let's double check the rest of these. Um, Sulf is obviously working because it got delivered somewhere else. Water's fine. And this is actually looking for petroleum. Okay, cool. So, but there should be petroleum on its way, right? We've got 110,000 here. Do I actually still only have one fluid wagon? I think I do. And where do you think you're taking that sulfuric acid? Somewhere it actually does belong. Okay, cool. That's fine. 
but I think we should get another fluid wagon. Did name and base get removed? I probably just forgot to turn it back on. Um, give me a sec. Let me just grab that fluid wagon first. And... Locomotives? There we go. Uh, let me check real quick. I wish I could automate this, depending on the game. Maybe there's a way. Might be a bit tricky to set up the environment stuff. Uh, channel points. Name in base. There we go. I don't know, you'll probably have to refresh to get that back. So for a station that accepts two fluids, you read out the train contents to decide what pumps to turn it on. Uh, you could do that, but also the logistic train stop output gives us a positive number if the train is supposed to drop off a fluid and a negative... no wait. A positive number if it's picking up fluid and a negative of that fluid, negative one if it's trying to drop it off. So all we have to do is connect wire directly to the logistic train stop output and say whatever fluid you're supposed to be dropping off less than zero and that's how that works. Also want my name in base, okie dokie. Three in a row, let's go. Um, do I have stone brick? I do. Let's see. Aziz, light. I think that's enough. Salandro, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bajiba. Oh, I went too far, didn't I? Sense of scale, go bye-bye. Alright. Uh, let's see, so first up is Null Cascade. Where can I fit it? Wait, wait how about over here? And then we've got Zim. I should probably be a bit more careful with that. Uh, SP Joe, aka Key. Lastly was Budgie Bum and then Yopo. Yopo Alts. Okay. Budgie Bum. And then we need, uh, what, eight characters? It's RN. Oh, Zern. Okay. Uh, N. Indeed. You are Zim from now on? No. Franco, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Yupo Alts. All good? See a measle of peak power 1.82 gigawatt and 149 gigajoule total energy will... 
require 312 steam turbines and 64, 61.4 full tanks at 50k per tank. How many do we have? Uh, 243 turbines and 162 tanks that are half full. Fantastic. Alright, let's do a save right there. It's the last thing I want to have to remember to redo if something crashes. I think the only thing that's caused crashes, though, is trying to build a spaceship, uh, spaceship console in the editor area and trying to bring up LTN Manager. List of clays, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We have additional power from solar too, indeed. Uh, how was your stream today? List of clays. Did I mess up the SO? I should have tabbed it. There we go. Started off with Factorio, nice, and ended up with some automation in Plateup. What is Plateup? I think I've seen that somewhere. Let's get these uh, fluid wagons in motion, which also uses conveyors. Fantastic. Let's grab ourselves some fluid wagons. How many can I do? Two. Alright, that should be enough for now, though. Sulfur is flowing. Good to see. That's quite a lot of petroleum, really. We're very much bottlenecked on our pump jacks, I guess. Wait, where are our pump jacks? I thought we were exploiting this stuff over here. I guess we didn't get to that yet. Where even are we getting... Uh, crude oil from? I wonder. We're not pumping it in directly, right? It's in the rail network somewhere. Crude oil. I thought it was here. Which is why I'm surprised that we're so low on it. There's some over here as well. Is it this crude oil? No, I, I don't have the rail block. Crude oil coming down here. Where on earth are we getting our crude from? Um, it's a mystery? What? I actually don't know. You know what? Why don't we send... Uh, why don't we send a spare cargo wagon to crude oil provider? There's no such thing. What? Does anyone know? <laughs> Does anyone know where we got this crude oil from? I actually have no idea. I think you do Oh, I remember, I remember. I think you dragged a pipe somewhere from right. Yeah, no, I was going to do that, but it's actually just the crude oil from Core Fragment Processing that we've been using. Which has stopped because certain things are full and I haven't set up a trashing system yet. Should probably get on that. We're losing free resources. 
but considering it's all full of raw rare metals, um, we should probably just process those first. Guessed right, nicely done. Maybe from core drills, indeed. Factory search. That might have been a good idea. Valescent, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Are core fragments infinite? Yes, they are. It's the only thing that is infinite in K2. Uh, oil patches are actually finite. Alright, so... I actually don't have pump jacks here right now. It's a short trip. So our next step is to get these pump jacks going and into the rail network. Then we need a processing area for raw rare metals. Then uh, probably a system for trashing stuff that we've got too much of. That only that only if it comes from an infinite source, which I haven't fully decided on how I want to do just yet. I'll probably end up doing it the same way as last time. Um, so I'm looking for pump jacks. Fantastic. Do I need more than 20 here? I don't... Maybe. Oh, there's some oil here we're not exploiting either. I could maybe join the same... I, I could maybe pump all of this to one spot. Core fag fragments are from space exploration, not K2. Correct. Or am I going senile? K2 changes space exploration a bit, though. Alright, so... First of all, let's place these. So we can see where they are. And we'll figure out... Probably some pipe down the middle vertically. This might be a little better. That might be even better than that. If there's a neater way to do oil fields, I haven't discovered it yet. These guys could connect, I suppose. Oh, that actually doesn't reach. Feels weird. Uh, I could maybe connect this here instead. And then we get rid of all of that. It's pretty good. Uh, we're actually overdue for a break. I might do that right after we get this going. We'll do some words on stream. While I grab some hydration and so on. Does it really have to be one power pole for this, for each of these two? Let's do a big power pole. Now then, as for the rail, This would be in the way of this one. We could probably just get rid of a little bit of rail here. And we're not going to do that block until that's mined out. That's going to be in the way as well. I think we can plan this out though. While we're at it. Three x-ray mod go. And... 
Plastic. Uh, this will be sufficient for the moment, in any case. Alright, so this bit of rail obviously isn't going to help anything. Make a little exception here. And the rest of the block should be able to manage. Whoops. Trying to remember, is it AAI that adds the engines and such that are required for things like yellow conveyors, or is it K2? It's K2. Um, AAI, I got some containers from, I think. Um, although they're, we're not using the vehicles. Mostly because, in fact, if I'm honest, solely because they are a terrible UPS hog. Um, I'd really love to do a big playthrough with AAI, but even just having vehicles sitting idle, even if they're not receiving orders, is very costly. Lolilo, thank you very much for the 15 gifted subs. Much appreciated. Holy cannoli. That is, what, 120 in the channel now? Thank you so much. I honestly don't have the words for how much I appreciate that. And, uh, good to see you again, by the way. Obviously. <laughs> but not just because of the subs. Um, can I get the straight rail only out of the way here. The vertical straight rail. There we go. Perfect. Just keep your soothing voice and smooth voice going and keep the game coming. Uh, will do. Absolutely. Honoris. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess we're picking up some wood now. Uh, my inventory is crying a little bit. Let's just make some more rail. How much... Uh, that's quite a few steel beams. This is going to take a little minute. I should go back already. See if we can figure out where we want to fit the oil pickup first. Probably right about here. Um, except we're picking up fluids, so we don't need any bulk rail loader, actually. I do have this handy. Tell me I lined that up correctly. I can't see it, actually, yet. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to tell until we get the rest of this rail. I shouldn't have had the bots auto-place that. Five times two rail would be enough to finish this. Alright, here we go. And it's actually perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. And then... One off. What if we moved all of these over one tile, um, just so that that happens to line up beautifully? 
Thick dollies to the rescue. Fantastic. And go. Love it. That is maybe one of the cleanest looking oil outposts I've ever done. And we did get them all right. Those shadows are trees, not oil patches. Does the tree x-ray get in the way of chopping down trees by hand, or can you toggle it with a hotkey? You can toggle it. Uh, I don't know about with a hotkey, but the only problem that it can give you sometimes is it doesn't actually get in the way. Uh, Boovin, thank you very much for the gifted sub as well. Much appreciated. Thank you. Decipher TV. Hope you like. I'm sure you will, actually. Uh, yeah. The tree x-ray, uh, with some of the trees, the model that it replaces it with visually doesn't line up with the, uh, the hitbox of where the tree actually is. But that's, that's the extent of it. That's as bad as it gets. Just giving it forward. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. We're going to need some landfill. I can make some right now, but it's going to be like literally three units. Let's save the fishies. Alright, so we're going back for rail and a bit of landfill. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this isn't going to reach, is it? That's the one thing I don't like about this setup. Alright, so we need this to be a pickup station. We don't need a stack threshold, just a just a numerical threshold. And there'll probably be a train scheduled to pick this up in about ten seconds. Since we're getting like a thousand oil every few seconds. It's five hundred and twenty per second right now. Oh, our electricity is not looking good. That's because it's not connected to the main network. But the wind turbines are doing some work. Material 2 later today, let's go. Material 2 unlocks a lot of good stuff. Do we have the power poles for this? Apparently not. But we do. So why... Why did that not... Oh, I think I see. Okay. This goes here. And this goes here. But what was that? No, 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 not the straight rail. And don't copy the tree either. I think it's too late. I don't know where that straight rail went. Down here. That should be fine. Okay, we got power. We got power. So that's actually 520 per second now. And there's our train, which doesn't have path yet, shockingly enough. Ever tried using the safe water fill mod? What is the safe water fill mod? We've got nice fill, but I and I've heard of water fill, but I don't know what safe water fill is. Uh, what were we looking for? Rail and question mark. Rail and landfill, and they're both down this way. Okay. 
And I'll definitely take a break after this because it's getting harder to think. Just been so discouraged to work on these sciences, so I'm taking them one step at a time. Building them in blueprint sandbox before I paste them. Yeah, that's valid, definitely. Because there's so much um, to SE production chains later on. I mean, there's quite a lot to some of them already. Are we going to go further down than this? I guess not. Just need the roundabout here. Uh, I was going to say I might have rail go down here, but I think it's easier to just pump it over to this stop that we've already got. Gone. And... And go. I know it would be just fine if I left it like this, but look at how much more nice and neat this is. Oh. There we go. That should be fine. Actually, this might need to go here. Do I still have pump jacks? I do. Let's pump these over to where we've already got our train stop. And we'll take a break after that. Missing two signals? Uh, probably. Definitely want those two connected. And we could probably do this as well. And then... I might just... Do it this way. That's all of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. They will need some power, of course. And is this on a separate little power network? It is. Well, not for long. Not for long. There we go. And then... Use the navsat view to plan some pipes. And I think I'll just have it come down this way. Look at that reach, that's beautiful. Where does this line up? If we're very lucky. We're just a little bit off being very lucky. But this lines up pretty well. Oh, that last one lines up perfectly. Horizontally, at least. I can live with that. Can we find some room in our inventory? There we go. At the bottom of the roundabout. Oh, this one? Yeah. Does it matter if the train can't go this way? Maybe. I mean, it's probably got a path to where it needs to go regardless, but this is better still. Oh, what happened? Oh, right, I remember. 
there's a pump jack in the way. Now that... Okay, okay, okay. We'll deal with that later. Maybe. More to the point, does our train have a path now? Or soon? Do a bit of landfill down here. I guess I will landfill this. And our train should now be in motion. It looks like it is. In fact, it looks like three of them are in motion. Yeah, we've got three trains on the way down here already. Wow. And we haven't even tapped these eight, twelve pump jacks over here. I guess we'll do that after the break. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Let's get some words on stream going. Brot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Fulgard, good to see you again also. And... Copy that. I've actually gone almost half the stream without a break. Uh, probably be like five minutes or so. I'll be lurking, have fun. All right, take care, Klistop. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be... Whoa, okay. Don't want to paste the link. Not that it would do any harm, but I don't actually want to paste the link for words on stream browser source. Uh, words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
nicely done. Uh, one more, and then we'll get back to SE K2. Oh, one up, perfect. Fantastic. All right, let's continue with some SEK2, shall we? And where were we? Uh, why am I so slow? Oh, right, it's a creep, of course. I thought our UPS was like 15 for a second there, and I thought it's way too early for that. Let's pick up the Zerg creep. How is engine... engine not a word? Uh, did someone else get it, maybe? Or maybe it was... I, I didn't really see. I could have a look again. No, I can't, actually. That's... that's not true. Um, I don't know, maybe someone had it, or maybe... We weren't far enough in for fake letters, right? It's level 3, I think. There was only one E available. There you go. Um, it's generally better to just try it, though, instead of take the time to check with words on stream, right? Since there's no, if you can type fast, that is. Since there's no penalty for an incorrect guess. Yeah, that whole area. Hmm. I think I'd like to see where a block is going to be eventually. So I can build around it. Oh, and I guess we're building this all of a sudden. Let's turn off the bots. I'll remove some of this in a bit. But for now... Do I have any steel pipe? I should have brought steel pipe. Let's just do it this way. It's pretty convenient, actually. I guess it would probably be okay to bring it down through here. It needs to move a bit further. And... I 
like so. Um, but we definitely don't want this roundabout just yet. Not till we get rid of this stone. Okay. Also, this is not going to be here. But we could have a bit of rail go north through there. Um, and let's not kill the trees if we don't have to. Well, some of them we kind of do. Alright, bots assemble. We got to rotate the pump. Rotate the pump. This one? Indeed. Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I said hello, Franco, but if you get two hellos, by all means. Welcome, welcome. Let's not kill the trees if we don't have to. Are you sure you're feeling all right? Yes, they remove pollution. The trees are friends. We've run out of underground pipe. I don't think we're going to be able to handcraft enough. Let's go back and get the rest. Uh, not before we power this. One off. Well, more like two off. Being able to do this with one substation. Why am I still carrying a space capsule? Get it out of here. Rip. Can we send with a delivery cannon? Uh, ingots. Yes, we can. So we'll definitely want to go and figure those out soon. 50 steel ingots uh, in one delivery cannon capsule, as opposed to one stack of steel. And the ingots... Uh, that's the wrong search. Let's say, let's look at steel ingots. Wait, really? Oh, it has to go over here. Steel ingot. Uh, how do we turn it back into plate? Steel plate? Here we go. One steel ingot makes ten steel plate. So that's five stacks. Five times more efficient with the delivery cannon capsules. That's pretty huge, actually. Um, and I presume that... How do I check what machine we do this in? Oh, it can be any assembly machine. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume we can't use a productivity module there. Yeah, no. Not unless you're using a super productivity module. Why... Why did I... No. Um, let's sort our inventory out. This is actually getting kind of full now. Why do I have 400 wind turb uh, turbines? Probably has something to do... Sorry, 200. Um, probably has something to do with when I was on Hagen. Hagen. 
and the rest can probably stay. We have one, two, three, six, seven, eight more pumps to sort out. And it, by the looks of it, that's going to be way more oil than we need for a good while. I should set up the stone mine while I'm here as well. Alright, so can we just put down this block early so we can see where it goes? Uh, I hate to undo my work, but I think I'll put that down ahead of time. And then we'll have to mark this for deconstruction, uh, for to be cancelled rather, for the moment. This is a bit awkward. How much stone is this? 9.1 million. At this stage of the game, that is quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, that one's going to fit snugly in a rail block, which is nice. Even so... Oh, train coming. Maybe, since it's so convenient, I'll just make another stop for this one. We could even have some production on the right side of that block. Didn't realize I was going to be building this much rail. We'll head back and get some more. Make some more inventory room this time. How much room is still in here? Oh, so much. Get out uh wait, 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 no. Don't put stuff that isn't going to get consumed in there. I don't need 20 oil refineries as a matter of course. Better to have chemical plants as well. Extra combinators, trains, extra signals, extra belt. Apparently that's how much belt I'm requesting. Alright, this is fine for now. Remove yellow belts from the request? Uh, maybe. Away we go. Oh, this got rebuilt. Uh, whoops. Maybe I could actually just have this do a little corner around. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Have you ever seen a more beautiful sight? My inventory is full again. Let's 
funny how all the buffs just hover there for a second. Until I reset their orders, basically. But now we've gone too far. Alright, give him some rail. So we can see exactly where our train stop should be. It's going to be in the usual spot, that is. And what's what's going on with our bots? Oh no! Oh, you're joking! No, 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 no. Uh, I think I think I transported. More bots to the Shadow Realm. Are they here? Yeah, I think I think my bots just disappeared because I jumped to the editor. Sent them to the multiverse. Ah okay, I guess we gotta go back for more. I can't believe I forgot that again. I know. Okay. Can we perhaps... Maybe line this up here? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. With one, or I guess a single combination key press, uh, all my bots just disappeared. we maybe do this up here? Seems good. And these two... Like this. It's gonna look a little bit weird regardless. Oh no, we can do it like this. And then... That looks kind of weird. Turn this around. Bring it down this way. That's about as neat as it's going to get, I think. Now activate the bots we don't have and cry. Fantastic. Let's get this landfill in place. Don't think we're missing any signals there. Okay. Back for nothing but bots, I think. Let's finish this build. We're going to be needing some power. We should probably take it off the grid here. So that we can connect this wire like so. Really? There we go. And I 
guess like this. That seems a bit too wasteful. How about that? And we have yet another oil provider. Did I name this station? I did not, and there's a train on the way. Rip. Okay, so that should be all of the oil in this area good and tapped. Um, let's get this stone done since we're standing right here. Let's just start over there and see how it goes. Does these reach? Oh, that's perfect. Fantastic. Get rid of the ones that aren't going to do much. That's still covered. Belts are facing the wrong way, but whatever. And I th think just one more drill over here. Could maybe just squeeze it in this way. Okay. Train stop. How many lanes do we have here? Too many. This looks like a job for a great big container. To act as a kind of splitter. Get out of the eclipse. This will be stone pickup. Um, what? I think it's going to pick up at the other stone station. Yep. Speaking of which, do I now have time to fix this? I do. It is called crude oil pickup. Fantastic. And let's just put a warehouse here. Well, actually, we'll put the warehouse up here. In line with these two. Um, could I just... Remove all the belts, actually? Red belt and underground red. Be gone. And we're just gonna bring those directly in line, uh, directly into you. the warehouse. That's going to be wrong, isn't it? One, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Call it seven. Now we've got six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So this would go... Well, this one has to go straight in. Why don't we just do it like this? Seems good. for some more miners, but we should have plenty. about right. And then... Okay. Outpost design probably complete. No, wait, we need a splitter. And output down here. That's perfect length. Where's my loader? I don't have one? I do. of red belt. And then belt goes here. That should be the end of the design. C for cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome raiders. Cat train. Let's go. Can we get some power to these miners? Some of them. Fantastic. Um, and then let's fill in this block in so far as we can for now. Okay. Let's go back and get the rest of these drills. How was your stream? What was I missing? Drills. We have... Zero. Where are they? They should be in here. I don't see any drills. Uh, did I search all surfaces? I did not. We've got drills up here, and we've got 400 down here. Okay, cool. The bots are just taking a moment to bring them to me. There's 100 up here. That should be fine. we go. Gonna need a few more power poles. I 
kind of like the sound of these uh, drones. And one more. Don't need that. And once more with feeling. Alright, that is already a couple of train loads. Very good. So we got the oil and the stone down here sorted. And since we've had crude oil for a minute... Um... We're still struggling on petroleum. Maybe I should make another block. For oil production. If I put it here... We're going to block one mineral water deposit. With the this bit of the roundabout. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. If I put it here, we could do that. Still fairly close to water. Might have to... Oh wait. No, that bit's going to be blocked. We could do it here. As long as that mine is there, the trains can't get in to the top right. Drop off. But it's all connected, so we could just disable that station. Yeah, I think we could do that. Should I consider changing my ratios here at all? No, we're out of everything. It's actually just, we need more, we need more oil processing. Okay. Let's get started on this whopper of a build. And turn this one off. In fact, I'll just get rid of the station. It'll be a lot easier to see how this is set up at a glance. stuff, but it's all auto-supplied. I don't think I really have to think about it much. We might have to grab some more huge storage tanks than usual. Down we go. Large storage tank, large storage tank. Do we have any more huge? Takes a moment. Uh, it's right here. So yes. We have 42, I think. Oh, that's the large. I may as well look in here. I wish there was a sort button. Or if you could have all inventories auto-sorted. I probably should just get that. I'm sure there's a mod that does it. And it would mean the Spidertrons uh, wouldn't have as many problems with inventory management as well. Crude oil. And we're going to need to get some water pumped over here. 
I think I need some steel underground pipes as well, actually. Which I'm not always requesting. But apparently I didn't bring enough um, huge storage tanks. I thought I picked up an extra stack. How many do we need now? 32? I thought we needed 30 before I came here. Were, this, were the tanks not in my hand? What happened? Well, let's get the offshore pump sorted before we go back. We can do that at least. And... We'll go for... Steel undergrounds. Like so. This is going to be a little awkward. But I guess we're not going to be using this rail. Still going to need one more of these. I wonder if that's enough. Probably not. Let's get it working and we'll have a look. storage tanks. I thought I was requesting them. Nope. Huge storage tank. Go for 40 for the moment. There we go. We have 24. That's not enough to finish the job. We need, what, 8 more? And anything else? It's pretty much just storage tanks. It's also a few chemical plants. Many more chemical plants. Nine. I think I'm already carrying that. Yep. We need three more. Pipes are on the way. Should be coming from over here, I think. How many does it take? Twelve. Here they come. No? Is this thing stuck? How did this happen? Oh, I know how this happened. Because I manually put in the maximum amount of steel. Huh. Okay. And one more. Fantastic. We can probably finish that build now. Just park myself down here for a sec. Stupid robots, they break when a human interferes? <laughs> Apparently. Um... It's, a, it's more than a little while ago, but I have a suspicion that that's how a certain thing broke ages ago. I'm having a lot of that today. Did we build it? What are we missing? Pipe to ground. 
and nothing else, I hope. What's this? Trees. That got copy pasted. Okay. I believe that is it. Wait, we need our steel pipe over this way. And one pump can give us 1250. Theoretically, the block can consume 440 water per second. That's actually a lot less than I was expecting. Um, yeah, this will probably be fine. Despite the number of different segments of water connections. Up here we've got sulfur, that's a lot thirstier. Okay. So how is our delivery cannon capsule going? There's no heat shielding, no LDS. There definitely should be LDS? I saw it moving early. There's a lot of heat shielding in LDS. What's going on? Oh. I copied... I copied this from the wrong place. It was only looking for a short train. The pickup station was saying short trains only. The drop-off station was saying long trains only. Well, long is a relative term. Cool. So we should have a lot of delivery cannon capsules soon. Now we have to start looking at... All the different things we want to send. We can send concrete, stone brick. Um, obviously I could have set this up in the old base to start with, but this will be better in the long run. That is... okay, that's a lot of stuff that we can send by delivery cannon. In fact, I have a bit of analysis par uh, paralysis here. Wait, we can send LDS? Or were we always able to send LDS? I guess so. Yeah, 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 because I remember sending the items that we needed to make delivery cannon capsules with delivery cannon capsules for outposts. Always, also in point five, yes indeed. We can send space elevator cables, scrap, barrels, uh, basic ores, wood, coal, plastic, sulfur explosives. Putting, I love the idea of putting explosives in a cannon shell that we're sending. That seems safe. Uh, ice, fuel, All different kinds of raw metals, uranium, uh, vulcanite, enriched vulcanite, cation iron beads, anion iron beads. There's some surprisingly advanced stuff that we can sell, uh, send via delivery cannon, but it's still basically like, pretty simple resources. Yatuatu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... We need to do ingots for iron, copper, steel. There are no ingots for rare metals. We need to do those anyway. I'd like to do those now so that we can...
Hmm. You know, I've done all these half blocks in case we want to expand it, but what might be better at this stage is using this space. I guess we could even use this space. Well, we need to make ing uh, ingots first, but yeah, I think that there's probably room in pretty much all of our builds to add a delivery cannon. But maybe we want to scale a bit better from the start. I haven't even thought about the biters in quite a while. That's good. It's good that I haven't had to. I don't think they've even broken anything lately. Let's check kills. Uh, 10 hours? About 35 minutes ago they destroyed a piece of wall. Which is probably over here. They're just chipping away at it. Cool. Alright, I think the time has come to build... Uh, raw... Uh, to build rare metals, rather. That delete is taking a disturbingly long time. There's our bots. Poor guys. Doxilos. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. If, you know what? The long pause is, like, scaring me slightly. Because we've had crashes. But none of them were random. Um, alright, so... We'll start with our standard block. And first I need to refresh my memory on... Well, no, it's not just refresh my memory. I need to know the better production chain for rare metals. So, we start with raw rare metals. And then, I think FNEI is easier for this bit. Raw rare, right click, goes into rare metals in an industrial furnace, or if we use hydrogen chloride and water in chemical plants, we get enriched rare metals and some dirty water. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so chemical plant, hydrogen chloride, water, Enriched rare metals, which goes into. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume. Oh, you can use vulcanite to make it better. Five becomes five, or. 24 becomes 36. But for now, we won't be using the Vulcanite. I should probably design it to use the Vulcanite. Um, so that all we have to do is change the recipe. In fact, I could use crafting combinators to swap the recipes if there is or isn't Vulcanite. Um, I wanted to check the delivery cannon capsule stack sizes. 50 en enriched rare metals. Let's see. Cannon. Whoa. Okay. I can't actually put cannons there. Um, let's see. A hundred rare metals if... It, if it if we've finished processing it, so that's obviously going to be better. 
How far can delivery cannon fire? Anywhere in the solar system. It just costs more energy um, if it's firing it further. Okay, so industrial furnace. Uh, enriched rare metals or... Wait, what? Five by rare metal. Ten raw rare metals, five enriched. 24 enriched and some vulcanite. Should we do a bunch of it in one block or should we have separate blocks? I'm inclined to the latter. It'll be easier to upgrade. The ratios don't get as messed up by adding modules. And I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure we've got hydrogen chloride in the rail network already. Here it is. Hydrogen... Uh, chlorine and uh, hydrogen chloride all available for pickup here. Uh, and as for dirty water, we did have a build which has dirty water as a side, as an output. Oh, it's full. Yeah, so, <laughs> um,. We've got an awful lot of used pollution filters sitting in these uh, air purifiers because I haven't got something to deal with the dirty water yet. Um, we could just vent it, right? I'm guessing. Do we have... Do we have another one of these lying around? I don't think we do. I don't think I automated flare stacks. Because we make them so rarely. Flare stack. Okay. I forgot it doesn't have a recipe. You just put stuff into it. Um, Just like the Russia. However... Dirty water. Does have a use. In fact, what the... Ingredients? Oh, this is how you make it. Whoops. Copper, sulfuric acid, and water. Oh, this is the enrichment process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, dirty water gives us... You can actually decide which recipe, whether we're more likely, whether we're going to get iron, copper, raw rare metals. That's kind of weird. Or just stone. Not sure why you'd pick that one. So we need a filtration plant or decontamination facility. Is the decon smaller? It is. I think I'd prefer to use the decontamination facility, probably. Um, all right. If I was really keen, I could probably set up um, crafting combinators to change which heavy, uh, which dirty water processing we're going to run, depending on which resource we want. Is the decontamination facility not space only? No, it's not. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to make uh, life support before going into space. Apotheosis. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. From a quick glance, it looked like the stone-only recipe for dirty water used flares only instead of decontamination. Oh, okay. 
Let's see. Dirty water. Yeah, you're, you're right. So even if we do decide to just void it, uh, we still have to deal with stone. May as well deal with the other outputs. Okay. So... Dirty water... It's a long chain of stuff before we can really do things, isn't it? Um, we're gonna get dirty water from here. That's dirty holmium water. Dirty water. And it was the filtration plant. It's probably cheaper. Decontamination facility. I don't particularly care about the upfront cost. 2 megawatts, 500 kilowatts. Yeah, that is a pretty big difference, actually. That is a huge difference. Okay. Filter dirty water. Coal filtration. Heavy oil becomes coal and water. Interesting choice. Okay. Could we just do... Why don't we do all three? We need onion if we want to get holmenite out of it. We're not doing that. Probably ever. So I think we'll go iron, copper, and raw rare metals. Hmm. How should I do this? And I want three different pickup stations. Oh, there's also stone, isn't there? T Hex, what do you have what did you have for lunch slash dinner? Uh homemade pizza. Coal filtration works a treat on waterless planets with tons of oil. That makes a lot of sense. Pizza time, indeed. Uh, copper and stone. I don't know if we're ever going to need more than like three of these. How fast does it go? Uh, 150 per second. Does it have modules? It does. I don't know, there's probably no harm in overbuilding it a bit to start with. It's, it's a really small number of machines. I'm going to need to filter outputs anyway, so I may as well just output them all to the one belt. Oh, it also outputs water. How much water are we, are we talking here? 270 per second. Oh, that's kind of fast. Compared to what I was expecting. Um, let's put some train stops over here. Am I measuring that wrong? 
Where's the middle? The middle is here. I feel like I'm measuring that wrong. This should be lining up with both of these chain signals. It is not. Um, can I even? Surely. Surely I can have this line up the same way. And this one goes here. I mean, this one goes here. That looks right. And yet... Oh, that's not right, I think. Yeah, that does line up correctly. Okay, cool. So we've got one, two, three physical outputs. We need one, two, three, four. Hmm. I mean... Technically we could do this, but I hate it. I think we'll just use some of the space on the other side. And then... It's our right here. It's super slow. Actually, if I use undergrounds... Oh, that doesn't quite reach. How about we splurge on some blues? Just for the look of it. It's not a whole lot of belt anyway. Now then. Uh... It's going to be neater if we just use a big container. So that we can filter all of these different outputs compared to if we used a series of splitters. Make this one iron. This one can be copper. Stone and raw rare metals. That would be the neatest spot we could do this. Um, probably like this, actually. just realized almost seven hours into my playthrough that there's a SE simplified version. Maybe I should have started with that. 
it won't feel like a challenge anymore. There's a load of missing. This one. Thanks, Evil Plum. T hacks. If I have a pizza dough ready in the fridge, can I use it for something else? Like shape it as a roll and make Subway bun or something? I still need to learn about doughs. It's a bit of a mystery. Uh, I am not a cooking genius, so I don't know. You know you have a food channel, right? That's the place where food pictures go, especially if I made pizzas. My homemade pizzas aren't that special. They're just... They exist. And they're delicious, because homemade pizza is delicious. It's a lot more fresh. Morning. Burgers and fries. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. This will go here. And I think we've already got our filters set. We have four physical outputs. And one fluid output. Can we just connect this up like so? That's beautiful. Yes. A thousand times yes. When I eat my food and see pictures of others' food, I have the double experience. Okay. All I get for the night today, evil. Oh, the sleep. All right, let's put our input, whoops, inputs go here. Why do I keep misclicking? I think I'm running out of brain juice today. And we're going to need a substation just so that the wire can reach. Not that we don't need power down here anyway. Lighted substation. Did that connect to the right spot? I don't think it did. There we go. That looks okay. And a couple more down here. And this one can go here. Oh, it's working. Yeah, I forgot. It's literally just one input. For all of these. It's almost like core fragment processing. Only a lot easier. Did we get any... 5% raw rare metals. Okay. Let's give it some more power. And let's give it some super speed modules. And we should see the fruits of our labor over this way soon. And there it is. Seems to be working pretty well. Let's put this here. This is going to be copper provider. Actually, it's uh, more like an active provider because if one of these fills up, the rest of them stop. However, however, Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. 
for how we are going to deal with the excess. Whoa, that's big. I didn't... I forgot how big this is. The crusher, that is. Um... It's a shame it's going to have to be two tiles away, otherwise all we would need is a filter inserter. This'll do. We're going to have a filter inserter. We are going to read from here. Set filters whitelist. And... Huh. It's actually sort of working really well with no further circuitry because... Oh, nope, never mind. Rip stone. Oh. Oh, that's going to be a problem. How much stuff do we have to put in here before... Oh, stone gets turned into sand. That's... that makes it harder. I'm pretty sure anything else we put in here will just get deleted. Iron... copper... Uh, and raw rare metals. It's doing the copper first, because it's all stacking up. That's actually just as bad. Hmm. Doesn't that mean we need to... It's always the last recipe. One copper or nothing. So we don't need to, like, make sure we get a precise number. Except with sand. Uh, stone being turned into sand, that is. So if we have stone go in here first. It's going to block others, and then the stone isn't going to get in. I think what we do instead is just add a machine to make sand. Or landfill, or whatever. Oh, can we not make sand with uh, assemblers? How about landfill? This thing will eat landfill, right? Easer from spring? What's this? Uh, fill. Yeah, it does, it does eat landfill. Okay. Can we, can we stop? Okay, cool. So I think what we'll do is... If this thing starts filling up, we need to get rid of whatever comes in here that's not, um... Anything, any resource that accumulates in here, we need to get rid of. In that case, maybe a smaller chest would make more sense. Um, could we maybe put it here? That would look better. Okay. You figured it out, Woo, indeed. You could flare stack the water. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to flare stack the water if it gets full, but first it's going to be available to the rail network just in case. Landfill and void the landfill, indeed. I forgot how big this is. <laughs> okay. JP, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Will a mini loader work on half and half belt going into assembly machine? Uh, yes. Well, I don't know the mini loader mod specifically, but um, I think the answer is yes. To what you're probably trying to ask. Let's just put this here. Okay, so we want... Filter inserters. We want to set filters whitelist. And we'll add a constant combinator so that... It has to be... I guess that could just be green. We'll add a constant combinator so that there has to be, let's say, a stack of whatever resource in here before we pick it up. As in, negative 50 iron ore means there has to be 51 iron ore in here before we get a positive signal uh, for iron ore. And a positive signal will set that filter so we're going to go negative 50 of each. Um, these three are nice and straightforward. And then... Uh, for this one in particular, this filter inserter, we don't want it to ever pick up stone. Because that's going to go... Oh, I paused it. Wait, how did I... Did I pause the game over here? No. Does anyone know the shortcut key that paused? Okay. Um, when we changed... When, when we sped up time in the editor, it sped up time in the main game. But when we paused it in the editor, it didn't pause the game. That's different. From what I was expecting. Uh, so yeah, what we're doing is we want uh, this filter inserter to never pick up stone. And normally you might think we need another uh, we need another combinator to make that happen, but we're just gonna send these signals. Hmm. I was going to say, we're just going to send these signals twice to this inserter, but that'll mean there has to be a hundred before it picks anything up, but that's fine. But if I wanted it to be 50 instead, we could just say negative 25 for each of these. Um, so whenever it's 25, well, I guess on the other hand, we could just not use a filter inserter over here and we'll just say auto save uh, we'll just say stone has to be greater than 50 and set filters whitelist negative 50 uh, everything else And negative a lot of stone. So it's basically blacklisting stone. And... Put this here. Crusher is here. And we are just going to 
Oh, let's make it red. Do it like that. So that should... Uh... Oh, the water's full. Let's do our flare stack. Nice and easy. Oh, that looks very weird. How about... How about we put it down here? Just for appearances. Uh, and we're just gonna say... We're gonna need a pump. If we want to decision make... On that. Uh, if water is almost full... Whoops. Then we can avoid it. Actually, maybe be a little bit more aggressive. But it shouldn't have come to this anyway. Alright, so now if I cut off access for the iron to escape, it's gonna. The system is gonna act as if this is full. That is surprisingly slow. Well, have we got like seven iron here so far? Even with the super speed modules? But pretty soon, yep, we're starting to accumulate iron. I guess I'll leave that running for a second. Um, what else are we building? We were trying to figure out dirty water because this dirty water is full. Um, but also something else was going to produce dirty water, which is... Um, enriched rare metals. Let's do that first, while we wait for this. So, enriched rare metals, two fluids, one solid. Let's start by putting the storage tanks down. And... Maybe I'll steal from myself. Did I end up building cryonite processing? I didn't. But we've got the blueprint. Uh, basic cryonite. Here we go. I'm quite happy with this layout right here. I might steal from that. One fluid in, one fluid out. I don't think we can do that here. But maybe if we have a look, we'll see something... Nope, I don't think so. Oh yeah, this is recycling water, so that's not going to happen. But I'm keeping this part. Probably. The fact that we have... these two fluid inputs and the way the chemical plants are lined up... means that we're going to have to have way too much space for pipes on the outside. We're not going to do these two processing blocks. Well, actually. Enriched. Whoops. It only goes into the one recipe, but it's just one product to move. And if we do it block by block, we can figure out the prod modules and stuff much more easily later. Why don't you just set the filter manually on the filter inserter? Uh, because I want this to pick up anything that has more than 50, except for stone. Oh. Oh, it's already working. Can we see some iron here? 
I think we have to cheat some to see this working consistently. Um, how about we get some iron. I'll just put this here. Iron, copper, stone, and raw rare metals. So if we give it more iron, it's going to get rid of that. If we give it copper, it's going to wait till there's 50, which is not happening because this isn't full. Um, but if we block that, then it'll start trying to get rid of the copper. but only when there's 50 of it here. Same deal for stone. Where's the stone going? Here. Once that reaches 50, the filter will be applied. Oh wait, no. Yeah, we don't want stone directly into the crusher because it'll make sand. So instead we're trying to feed it... Um, landfill. And last but not least, raw rare metals. Uh, is escaping this way. Once we get 50 of those, we're going to start crushing it. Nice. Uh, and it did indeed get rid of the landfill. Cool, oh, so that works. So these are all going to be high priority pickups. Um, but if they end up getting full, we're going to void them. set those stations up. Alright, so this is raw ray metal. This should be stone. It's much easier when you can see the product in place. Iron. Copper. And this is also water. Wait, what? There we go. I don't think our flare stack is working fast enough, but that's because of the super speed modules. For testing purposes. Alright, let's make sure there's none of them. Seems good. Okay. Now then, where were we? Chemical plants making enriched rare metals. We need hydrogen chloride and we need water. Uh, what kind of rate are we going to get, I wonder? We need to know... I think water's going to be fairly slow. We should be able to put this anywhere we want. Water. And... Uh, 
don't forget raw rare metals. I'm going to borrow from myself up here. This looks complicated, but it's actually just the same uh, thing that I've done in the past. So we're going to go raw rare metals divided by 2 times negative 1. And we're going to have our outputs like so. And instead of inserters, we're going to have uh, bits of belt. We're basically just doing a balanced unloader. Um, I can just connect this here, actually. So we're doing the total count of raw rare metals divided by 2, divided by negative 2, um, and then reading directly from each container for each output. And if raw rare metals is greater than or equal to 0, we're going to output. So when you have two wires with different values for the same signal type connecting to the same thing, it implicitly does addition and subtraction. And we're just setting it up so that that total will be more or less than uh, zero, depending on if we want to output this. But I think I messed up. The part where I messed up is this doesn't have power, I think. Yep. Okay. Um, and that's just going to make sure we unload these at the same pace. Now then. I think what I'd like to do if I can, is have a line of plants kind of like this, but so normally when we have this kind of pattern, kind of like with sulfur, is it sulfur? One of the vanilla recipes. Yeah, water and petroleum in. Uh, normally the best we can do for the pipe layout is this, which is not great. We could maybe stretch the chemical plants out a bit more, but I was really hoping that maybe somehow um, we could do something a little bit like this. and then the water wouldn't have room. Let's move this over a bit. The water would have to jump over it, actually, if the chemical plants are going to be right next to each other. It's a real shame you can't flip them or just flip the inputs. If we put it here, water could go like that. Uh, hydrogen chloride like that. And on this side, we wouldn't be able to pull this off unless we stagger them slightly, which I have very mixed feelings about. On the one hand, it's very neat and compact. On the other hand, they're staggering. I don't know, this might still be the best layout for this.
but considering we have the one fluid output, it still has a physical input as well we have to worry about. I don't think I'm going to go with this. So what's the best layout we can come up with? The physical inputs are going to be slow, I imagine. Three per second? It's not that slow. Maybe we could have... both of these on undergrounds. I think that's going to be the least bad. So on both of them, the inner one is chlorine. Or, sorry, hydrogen chloride. That's at least kind of nice and symmetrical. Uh, the rate is definitely going to be slow enough that we don't have to worry about the layout of the pipes. Water is going to be a bit like this. Is there any way we could have double rows, though? Probably not. love to fit beacons as well. I mean, we could definitely do that uh, if we have our input belt like so, and just move these out one more tile. Um, that should be fine if we want to have beacons. Baby beacons, that is. I don't really see myself doing more than two columns, though. Are we going to need raw rare metals that fast? I mean, rare metals? Maybe not. Doesn't look right. There we go. So, with little tiny beacons, how many is this? 12? 12, perfect. Uh, we would use six small beacons. Or three, actually, would probably be better. Yeah, there's no reason for this. To widen this, that is. Uh, fluid output is going to follow the every other. It's, it's going to be done in pairs. Pattern. They're this close together, there's not going to be room for any beacons. We can bring this all the way down here and still have a short inserter to pick these up. Uh, 
Um, I guess... Actually, I guess wrong. Wait, how fast does this make something? Two per second. You misaligned the left side? Uh, looks like I did. Uruk says hi. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seems okay now. Let's make sure we clean up the fluids. So, if we have sh small beacons, it's going to look like this. If we have large ones, we need to widen it. And the burning question is... Can we fit, like, double this in half a block? I think the answer is probably no. Even if we're clever about it. I mean, look at this. Even if they share the belt, uh, the pipes in the middle, it's still going to be pretty bad. Yeah, we'll just settle for this. Um, but I th think I will... Well, for one thing, we wouldn't have belts for the output, even if it was a basic beacon. So at the very least, we're moving these two apart. But I suspect a big beacon in the middle would still cause problems. Unless maybe we offset these a bit. So instead of here, it's going to be here. Yeah, that works. That works beautifully, actually. So we'll change the way we do our outputs, and bring it back in a tile, actually. Wait, 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 where, where would the regular beacons go? This one, this one, and this one. Oh, that lines up so well. That's, that's actually perfect. Alright, I'm kind of happy with this build. Um, we don't want it to be five tiles apart, though. That's going to be the wrong way around. Water goes here, this goes here, delete it all and put it back, including the water, the cheat water. And then, how much does this give us? Uh, more than expected. Yeah, I think we'll put, um, we'll have to use both sides of the belt here. Alright, cool. Um, and I may as well, you know what, why don't we just use undergrounds to start with? Put it through a splitter. I don't know if that's going to affect which side of the belt it goes to. 
You know what? Why even, like, risk it? We're not saving any space here. What's our max rate for the dirty water? 200? It's kind of slow, as far as the pipes are concerned. And I don't suppose that would happen to line up so close. So very, very close. That's pretty good, actually. I can live with that. Is this some sort of sandbox mode? Yeah, it's uh, editor extensions, but we're actually not in a different save. If you go to settings, mod settings, and per player, there's a setting called testing lab. Just set that to anything other than off, and when you jump into editor mode, it'll put you here. So you've got this thing running in parallel with your regular save. And it'll tell you at, in the tooltip uh, to turn this setting off if you don't want to cheat. Cool. Yes, indeed it is. It's very cool. Although I do feel the pressure of time passing while I'm just sitting here designing. But I guess, like, I would be designing anyway. This is just faster. Um, I don't suppose... I didn't put this in the perfect center. How terrible. We could probably still do that, to be honest. Um, we could definitely still do that, because the pipe length... ...makes it very easy. And maybe now... ...this fits down here... ...nice and simple. Alright, so the output product is uh, enriched rare metals. And also uh, dirty water. Should actually make that an active pickup. And dirty water. Let's get a substation over here. We do need to tell LTN that we've got the dirty water. And a couple more substations is going to cover the rest. Easily. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this build. It's quite neat, considering that we had to do the double fluid input. Um, we haven't quite got this part done yet, though. What's the max rate? 48 enriched rare metals per second. I feel like that might scale a bit higher than expected later on. What are we missing? Raw rare metals? Did I put it in as enriched? No? Oh, we have no power. You have no power here. Alright, that's working. And our balanced unloader is also working. Need to learn LTN? Yeah, it's worth it. Nice. Looking good. And it looks like it's all working. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, 
let's get rid of the cheat items before we blueprint this time. And I think that's about it. Oh, we do need to check uh, which fluid the train is dropping off. And we need to tell Eltian that we've got the hydrogen chloride. And the oxygen. I mean, oxygen? Well, there's some oxygen in there, H2O. But what I meant was... I think that was already connected, actually. This uh, substation makes it a little harder to see. Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, and we need to do the requests as well. And the station name. Raw, rare, metals, plus uh, hydrogen chloride, plus water, goes into chemical plant, and comes out as, oops, enriched raw, enriched rare metals, and dirty water. And are you sure you want to respawn? No, I do not. I'm not sure what would happen if I did it in the editor extensions area, but I definitely don't want to do that. Thanks for asking. Uh, raw rare metals. Stacks to 50, right? Let's go for two train loads. Um, hydrogen chloride. Two train loads and water. Two train loads. Cool. And then we'll blueprint that. Snap to grid absolute. 8624, if I recall correctly. Enriched. Uh, I guess we don't need to say raw again. <laughs> Enriched rare metals. Train stop names, yes. I do hope I had the train stop names done. Otherwise we'll have to do that again because... LTN, not LTN, uh, bulk rail loader. Yes, we have done the train stop names. Uh, bulk rail loader is not so good for copy-paste... Or rather, undo, uh, or either undo or like select new contents of Blueprint. It tends to mess things up. By which I mean rotates them to be vertical every single time. Did I Blueprint this? Dirty water processing? I don't think I did. Filter dirty water. Don't have any more cheat items down here for testing. I don't think. Uh, dirty water. That's not quite what I want. Uh, this is fine. Filter dirty water. I don't know if I'll ever bother to upgrade this. And I forgot to give it a snap. Snap to grid 8624. And into the blueprint book you go. Fantastic. Okay. Shall we build some of these things? I think I definitely want to do the dirty water processing first. I forgot to check what kind of water throughput it has. No, I didn't. 540 per second? Oh, that's the output. 490 per second net output. 
Wait, I think that included this. Oh. Okay. The flare stack is too slow. To keep up with this if it was all running at the same time. But that would be 600 dirty water per second. And the trains are not coming to pick up water at all. From a priority station. So, it's probably fine. Um, let's put our dirty water processing here, close to our first source of dirty water, and probably our second. And we'll see how much of this we can build right now. I don't think we have filtration plants. lying around. Uh, we do not. How about if I ask you to make some? Say 20? Is that going to be a high priority? It is. Fantastic. We can probably handcraft one crusher. We can probably handcraft one strongbox. I don't know why I... I probably do know why I don't have any huge storage tanks at the moment. How's our petroleum looking? Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah, that... We literally went from zero to full since I last looked. That's good. What mod to find stuff? It is called Search Factory. Or maybe Factory Search. Factory Search, I think. It's not too difficult to use either. I just started using it today. or how to save blueprint with landfill blueprint with landfill uh yes you can um i think we have some landfill oh we have nice fill which means we don't actually have landfill tiles here anymore so i can't show you but if there was land landfill tiles here you would just have to go I think it's include tiles. Do we have something with uh, some stone brick on the ground or something? How about this? Away they go for some stone brick. I should have put it here. Include tiles just like stone tiles, yeah. So if you go blueprint... Actually, I think this will work already. Tiles, there it is. Uh, Sam Saimi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we done building insofar as we can? Should I build the other blueprint while we're here? Somewhat. Probably. Uh, enriched rare metals. I think I'll put it right here so that the dirty water has a very short trip. It's also still fairly close. Okay, it's not actually fairly close, relatively speaking, to the rare metal pickup, but it's fine. It's fine. Sam? Okie dokie. I need to go. Pardon me. I need to go back to base in a moment anyway. 
Uh, did I forget? I did. I forgot to connect water here. Um, does this thing take water? It does. So I'll have... Oh, we have to hurry. I'll have that train go over here for water. Whoops. Now then, uh, we will need one, two, three text plates. And I could fit a Sam here. S A M. And I'll have to come back for filtration plants. And maybe more chemical plants than usual. Definitely more. I went past it, didn't I? When have I ever not gone past this thing since I have a jetpack? Anota, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Wego, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Three months. I'm with Prime, no less. Thank you so much. There's our filtration plants. Uh, we need only 24 chemical plants. Do you see them? Oh, there they are. That's actually way too many. Um, and I think I'll just go and see what I don't have. Rather than spend the time thinking about it. It's a short trip. Apparently I don't have pipe, or I didn't earlier. Did I not bring 24 filtration plants? Did the bots take them? I mean 12... Yeah, no, I brought 20. Uh, well, it'll still work. I think I just saw the bots being weird. Yeah, I do have them. What the hell? Alright. Let's get this stuff placed. And... I didn't actually set the conditions on these yet. Bots, indeed. Yeah, they were being a bit weird. I don't think it was that they were run out, uh, that they ran out of charge yet. Uh, these two. What else are we dropping here? Water. Water. These two pumps need to be set to water less than zero. Which I guess means when I tell this train to move over here. Um, that's not quite going to work. Oh, really? Really, bots? Okay, there we go. Maybe... Maybe that's going to slow down the drop-off significantly, having these pipes before the container. Alright, could you please come over here? Until empty. And then go back to the depot. And we're gonna have to... That's weird. What figure is it? Oh, it's positive. Okay. That makes sense, because because the train arrived with the water, and it wasn't scheduled by LTN to get rid of the water. All right, so you do the same thing, please, until empty, and then go back to depot. 
Is this water? It is not. Okay, that should be working. And positive. Fantastic. Alright, we're gonna need a bunch more pipe. About 108 to be precise. Uh, I might take another little break after this because we've gone most of the way through the stream already. But I definitely want uh, dirty water processing and raw rare metal processing somewhat built. And I might have a good long think between streams about exactly how I want to deal with overflow products from, like, core fragment processing. So we're processing core fragments again now because we picked up some raw rare metals, but it stopped for a long time because it was full on that resource, and because of that we weren't we weren't getting iron, copper, uranium, uh, coal, stone, mineral water, water, crude oil. We were missing out on all of these for free. Well, minus the power cost. Um, because we weren't crushing raw rare metal that we were full on. Are we really missing one underground pipe? No, the bots are just being strange again. Very str- oh, they're drifting back, that's why. Yeah, if I'd done the jetpack reset, I think they would have built that. Alright. And are we not processing dirty water yet? Oh, I turned this off. Or I forgot to turn it on. Oh, I remember turning this off. Maybe I forgot to turn this on or set a request when I made the block. Dirty water requester. Dirty water. Three train loads. And maybe I should set the requester as a high priority as well, since it's processing a waste product that's going to get in the way of other stuff. So we should see yellow light over here. Yes, indeed. Let's move the trees so that that doesn't get blocked visually. Maybe I should build something similar I don't know, it might be too slow, even, if we have one crusher or two to deal with this. The reason why I didn't build a crusher here earlier is... Well, at first I thought it, we'd have to set a recipe, but crushers don't work that way. But again, the problem is stone gets turned into, a, into sand by a crusher. Um... However, if we can squeeze in an assembly, yeah, no, I thought about this already, I think. If we can squeeze in an assembly machine to turn stone into, um, landfill? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit ugly, but we could pull it off here. And then we wouldn't have to have a train system that gets rid of items. I just wonder if it's fast enough. What's our rate of, like, raw rare metals? 16 per second. 
And how fast does a crusher delete raw rare metals? Raw rare metals. 0 0.5 per second? Really? What about with speed 3s? Those are the best we can make now, even if it's a bit of a pain. Uh, 1.3 per second, that's not good enough. I talked about this before, but um, maybe I'll even end up doing the cannon system again. <laughs> so that we can delete items faster. <laughs> uh, probably some beaconed crushes, I guess. Would be the way to go. Rare metals greater than landfill... Rare metals to landfill to crusher. I see. There's a lot of things we can turn into landfill, isn't there? Uh, no there isn't. I thought we could turn... I remember last time with SE we could turn iron, copper, and so on into landfill? Is it a different machine? Landfill. Uh, sand and water, stone, sand, copper, iron. Anonymous gifter, thank you so much for the five subs. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Try the recycler. Oh, yeah, that, that's what we're looking at. Recycling facility. We would need to use a crafting combinator. Unless we wanted to have one recycling facility for each. It's, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Uh, eight of these. Something to think about. It's actually a pretty big problem. Like, a solution isn't that hard, but a best solution is very complicated. Thanks for the gift sub, indeed. Thank you very much once again. Zopentrope, Kohan, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, did we get this built? We actually did. So, it's time to do the next step for um, enriched rare metals. We've already got several, uh, multiple train loads, like three probably. Which isn't shocking, actually. With the scale that we're building at, this happens a lot uh, with the scale that we're building. And the number of cargo wagons. Um, but yeah, let's do some words on stream. One last time before we finish for today. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
nicely done. WestDX absolutely crushing it. One more, and then we'll do some more SE. Oh, you guys just deleted that level, huh? That was a lot easier than the last one, I think. Fantastic. Okay, uh, let's continue with Essie. And uh, we need to do something with this enriched rare metals. So, oh, only three hours till the CME. So we'll definitely be seeing that tomorrow. I think we'll see both of them tomorrow, maybe. Uh, they're like three hours apart. So two and a half hours or so into next stream. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see both of these tomorrow. That's cool. All right, um, let's get our next block done. So we've got the enriched rare metals. Now we need to do something with them. And I think we're going to request a Vulcanite as well. And I'd kind of like to do a Crafting Combinator build here. It's just Industrial Furnaces that we're going to need in the block, right? Yeah. So we can go for... Oh, we could theoretically have 16 of these. Which isn't going to line up so well for the basic beacons, because they can only reach three at a time, uh, vertically. But it's probably fine. see what kind of difference in rate we would get out of this. Um, 20 per second. Sorry, 40 per second versus... How many of these? 32. Versus... Oh, 32 times this. Wow, almost double. Uh, for 51.2 per second, compared to 40 per second. Okay. So let's say we need two belts to support this. Um, if we go for the regular recipe, how fast does this consume? 20 per second? 
We could probably just do a shared belt for input. If we go super fast later on. Uh, is that still minimum power consumption? With five prods? Let's go... Give me a substation. Uh, negative 80%. Yeah, I think it stays the same as far as we're concerned. Plus 500%. Okay, cool. So it's always nine speed modules, unless we drop below four prods. Oops. Now then, if we have 32 of these, or rather if we have 16... Um, and we're doing the recipe that needs two inputs. That is 76 enriched rare per second, which is most of the fastest belt. So I think what we'll do is use a bit more space. Is this thing in the middle? It is. So we'll want to move this over a bit. And the output belt is still going to be... Oh, the output belt is going to be super fast. 230 per second, that's um, 2.6 belts. Good grief. And that's for only half of it. So I would need... Three belts of output. Six belts of output in total. If we go that far. I think at that point I probably just remove some machines. Because the trains are going to struggle to keep up with it anyway. And we just don't get quite as much out of one beacon. Which is not the end of the world. So... One, two, three. And... Like so. There's actually just barely enough room, if we don't count this tile. Oh, there's a little bit more room than I thought. It's still a bit of a tight fit. Okay. Regular and long arm inserters. And... Vulcanite goes here. Yeah, we actually can move that in a few tiles. I think I will make it two. Except I want to make sure that's still centered. Okay. And, you know what, why don't we simulate it with Prog 9s? It's only going to be easier to design it for... before that. Okay. Um, so, on this side it's going to be a little different with the inputs. We're going to go like this. Actually, how fast is it going to be for... ...for each resource? Four point eight per second. 
for the faster one. I'm pretty sure we're going to have super uh, superior long inserters by then. And they should be able to move a lot more than five per second items. Enriched. Yeah, I think that's going to be fast enough. Hello, Nick Bismuth. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, this will look something like this, and so on, and I thought I was going to have to do something different with the inserters here, but I was wrong. Nice and easy. I forgot the blues on this side. Actually, I don't want to bother designing it with the super duper belts um, and then have to change it back, so let's just do it this way. And we basically want to... check that we've got vulcanite blocks. What's the overall throughput? 40 per second. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? We need one, two, three, four, five, six outputs. So we need a at least a four by container. One Two, three, four. And red wire to detect only what's in here. Green wire to tell LTN that we've got it. Uh, we're looking for enriched rare and vulcanite blocks. It's not quite what I wanted. And I need filters on these. Vulcanite block. Vulcanite block less than... I don't know, what's the... What's the comparative rate of consumption here? Or should we just go by stack sizes? 24, that's half a stack versus a hundredth of a stack. I think we can just say if there's 25 stacks of Vulcanite uh, in here, we can stop. And... As for the rest, uh, let's say 225 stacks. 11,250 enriched rare metals. And then we just take these where we will. Where's our filters? Oh, there is no filters on these. Whoops. Let's 
seems good. And like so. Clean up the belts afterwards. Let's get it work. Actually, you just get rid of that for now. Okay, so what I want to do... Is have crafting combinators decide which we sh resource we should use based on whether we have Vulcanite. So I think what we want to do here is decide a combinator. And probably the easiest and also possibly the way to do it with the least combinators is just a pair of decider combinators. We're going to output a recipe enriched. That's a delivery cannon recipe. Uh, rare metal. Met rare netac. Metal. Rare metal. Uh, recipe rare metal. Versus recipe rare metal with the vulcanite blocks. And if vulcanite block is greater than or equal to, I don't know, 200? Let's just, let's just say if there's one stack left in here, we can... Uh, we can keep using them. And else... If Vulcanite block is less than 100... Or how about if it's zero, because there's going to be some in the belt anyway. Sure, why not? Greater than zero... Equals zero. And then we just need one crafting combinator for each machine. Um, and we can put it on the input or the output side, really. Oh, I just realized, though. Maybe I don't want to use crafting combinators here, because we either need to discard items, or we need to have a chest that's going to accept the overflow items near the crafting combinator. And the overflow items can include output products, I think. But if the output products don't change... Let's see. If the output products don't change... Do they stay in the output area, is what I'm wondering. I'm hoping the only overflow product is going to be Vulcanite block. Whoops. Okay, so all of the overflow went into this chest because Crafting Combinator finally updated and we lost the recipe. We're going to add a Constant Combinator here. And we're going to set it to recipe rare metal with vulcanite block. 
And I think I've got these set to only update every 30 seconds. So, oh, there it is. Just as I was about to click it myself. So let that run for one recipe. Empty this. And then I'm going to change it to the other rare metal recipe. And we're going to see what happens uh, with the outputs. It did put the output into the chest. Uh, that makes this more of a nuisance than I thought it would be. Even if we don't have Vulcanite blocks, I do want to build this so that we can use them a little bit later. But... Overflow chest? Hmm. The thing is, the overflow chest would have to... I could do it, like... I can't do this just straight into a box, right? No. That would have been very convenient. But it's not that bad, actually. If we have a chest here... And output like so... I guess we could use loaders for the output if we really want to. But more to the point. Crafting combinator here, chest here. All the output goes down here. And we'll just have to filter and recycle in one place. Send it all back up this way. It's probably fine, actually. Alright, let's do some regular old inserters. Why is there no recipe on some of these? And we are going to have to have this pattern of chests. Should probably set the combinator settings now. Uh, there won't be any fluids to discard. Wait for output to clear. I probably could have used that. But then, I think it's still going to be simpler if we just send all of the overflow to where it needs to go. Empty inserter's hands prevents jamming. Nice. Keep crafting until zero. Uh, sure. I don't think that is going to make a difference in this case. And overflow chest position behind. That seems good, actually. Did I change anything? I got rid of discard fluids, which makes no difference. I'll just leave it default settings. Never thought I would say such a thing. Oh, that's why they were set to no recipe, because there's a crafting combinator pointed at them. Alright. Copy and paste. 
I don't suppose this is going to reach. We could have it connect via the wire, I guess. It's not the prettiest, but it doesn't actually matter. Okay. These will kick in within 30 seconds. And we're going to have a container here somewhere. Let's see, we need one, two, three outputs from this. Both of the possible inputs and the actual output. So it doesn't have to be that big. Even a 2 by should be fine. I suppose. We're going to have a filtered output. Um, where would be the neatest spot for it to go back up? I'm thinking here. But then this belt would have to like make a turn. Well, something's going to have to make a turn either way. So, input, input, output, output. We can have two filters on these outputs, right? Yeah. Rare. Enriched rare metals. Vulcanite block. Up we go. Halfway up the block in one underground. Easy. Whoops. And back in you go. And in that case, I think I might... reduce the amount of stuff we put in from the top to make sure there's always room for the overflow coming back. So, make that like 10k. Okay. And this goes here. And rare metals comes out this way. How much is our max rate? It's more than two red belts, actually. Wait, it's more than two red belts with no beacons? Uh, okay. Blue belts it is. What about the input? 51 and 2. Yeah, no, this is fine for the input. Should be okay. Um, so let's check again. Uh, less than 90. Yeah, this is okay. But we need two for output here. And they do need to go through a splitter if we want these two to be even. Now then, let's say that we actually don't have any Vulcanite blocks. Put a constant combinator on this, and let's pretend there's negative Vulcanite blocks. So, within 30 seconds, we should see this switch to the recipe that doesn't use Vulcanite. And I want to see what happens to the overflow. There it is. That's looking pretty good. I don't know if I even saw any of the, uh, the other ingredients. The enriched rare metals. 
Oh, that, that, that chest is filling up. It is managing to unload now. I think it was from before that it was filling up. When the belts couldn't keep up. These larger containers and loaders are so handy for complicated filters. Alright, I think that is our rare metal build. And now there are vulcanite blocks. Give it a little while, it'll switch over. The less responsive we make crafting combinator, the less uh, UPS it's going to cost. But also, I have builds where it's just handy. Like we, it just means I don't have to build a timer, so that the recipes are a bit sticky. We're obviously not going to have room to fit uh, regular beacons with this build, but it's not going to fit well anyway with columns of eight uh, industrial furnaces. Alright, cool. Let's get power working properly, get rid of the cheat items, and make our blueprint. Uh, substations? It's gonna be a bit tricky. Substations are going to be a little bit of a challenge with this build. Unless I want to put them here. Okay, not that tricky. And tentatively... Are we seriously one-off? No, we're good. That's perfect. One off, not even once. Yeah, never mind, that is extremely neat. Fantastic. Yeah, that's our build. Let's do the station naming. Enriched plus Vulcanite block requester. Enriched uh, stacks to 50, right? Let's just ask for a couple of train loads. And Vulcanite block. Vulcanite block is going to be really slow anyway. So I'll just go like... It stacks to 100 though. Uh, 12,000? Or 10,000. It'll drop to 2,000 before another train is requested. Which, considering the whole thing only consumes two per second, should be fine. And then... We already did this. Fantastic. I think we're done. Whoops. Some random stuff down here. Uh, can we get lab tiles? I know we can, but I don't know. Oh, here it is. Lab tile. Hmm. Uh, that was a little more reckless than I meant to be. But it looks like 
no harm was done. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Nothing's missing here. Alright. Uh, snap to grid, absolute, 86, 24, rare metals, basic, rare metals, and we do need those entities, crafting combinator blueprint settings. Hopefully with this version we don't get random crafting combinator blueprint settings uh, that get left behind when we deconstruct things. It's not too difficult to remove them, but still. I think that's it. Perfect. And this over here. Okay. Uh, pretty good timing. That's actually time to finish the stream. I kind of would like to figure out where I want to put the rare metals though. Probably close. Oh wait, no. It's enriched rare metals that we're doing. Um, which we already put that build down here. Enriched. Hey, repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's make sure we remember our tags for when we turn this off. Um, dirty water. And I want to, I want our build close to this. It is pretty much the only thing. So I'll probably just put it over here. There's mineral water here. Um, ironically, the rare metals are blocking exactly where I would like to put this build. I guess I could just put it over this way. Or we could put it here and work around the rare metal mine at the moment. I'd like to see if we could do that. I think we can. Um, maybe not. I could put the train station up the top right temporarily. Until... Until we get that mine out of the way. Oh, it's over here. So this would go here, actually. And... I'll probably just run bulk rail unloaders directly to this and control it that way. But that'll do for now. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Those rail blocks are too tiny? No, they're not. They're good. Making a rail world style mega base. Uh, what else have we got going on? Any K2SE? I don't think there's a single other K2 and or SE happening right now. Alright, let's give this one a go. I'll just double check that we're able to chat. Yeah, seems good. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And for now, let's say hello to SF Hobbit. Take care, Ikene. Oh, 
a cane? Yeah, I think it's a cane, right? How are you guys doing? I just reached Foenestra and found access code. Any non-spoiler tips where I need to input that? Uh... I don't think I can give a non-spoiler tip, but someone else might want to chime in. I don't know if it's possible to give a tip on that without it being a, a spoiler. All right, take care, guys. See you next time. Evil Pla, Koha, take care. Good. Thanks for dropping by. We're doing on the achievement. Hey, we're up to 11 million. Tyrannosaurus hacks. 